Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Rime of the Frost Maiden. You can watch this stream every Wednesday from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and uh, you can watch our sister stream, the Dork Vision stream, every 9 p.m. to midnight on Sundays. Um, I have books on DriveThruRPG and the DMs Guild, and you can support me another way on Patreon slash Noble Crumpet. With that out of the way, uh, let's get back into what happened last time. Uh, also, you guys, uh, Shane is probably not going to be here this session. He might show up late, if anything, but, uh, just, just letting you know. But, um, last time, you guys headed to Scenic Dugan's Hole, um, after, uh, ignoring the plights of the Winter Wolves, believing them to be liars, and I believe seeming... Them seemingly true, half true, uh, they tried to threaten you saying that there were young ones that they, uh, that, that were in danger if you refused to help them. And, um, you guys went to Dugan's Hole, confirmed that there were, in fact, two children missing, um, and that the speaker didn't want to do anything about it because they believed them to already be dead. You also met Grundle's, uh, adopted father there. Kind of a weirdo, but to be fair, most of the people in town are kind of weirdos. Um, without much else to do in Dugan's Hole, it is just a hole-in-the-wall kind of town, you guys headed south uh, following the marker that Nephros has been following this entire time, the distress beacon that keeps calling him toward the Nautiloid that you guys had read about. But along the way, you were beset by some white kobolds on a cliff face. They loosened a boulder that tumbled down towards you guys, and that is where we're going to start off now. Uh, and maybe get some more intense music. Alright, uh, so 
hopefully this will work right away. But let's roll for initiative. One, two. Okay, good. It worked the first time. Me. Yay. Um, all right, now rem destroyed us. <laughs> remind me, I think it was Suvi that got hit, and then Grundle maybe yeah. took some partial damage. I okay. 24 HP. Another thing uh, to ask, do you guys have your sleds with you? I don't recall. Like, did you bring the dog sleds? Pretty sure we did. I'm pretty sure we did, because didn't, did we, I can't remember, did we just encounter the wolves before or after Duke and Soul? Before Dugan's Hole. That was before, that was before Dugan's Hole. Yeah. All right, yeah, because I think we just parked them at the tent because there wasn't really, like, a shed, and we weren't there for long, so we took them with us, I imagine. Okay. Uh, then we will also assume that you guys have at least a few of your sleds here. I'll just grab one. Yeah, we were traveling through the mountains, and this happened, so I don't think there was anything specifically that made us get off of it. Yeah, put them right in line with the boulders. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's hard to put them anywhere else in on this map, <laughs> but I might spread you guys out in this case. Yeah, it's like that a makes single sense. file valley to me. I'll look at my character sheet. Chris put you guys right. here. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm just. Oh hey, it's we're missing somebody. We're missing Jeeves. Big J man. Oh. How could we forget Jeeves? Big Jeeves. hunk. Chiefs, make sure he's never forgotten. Oh, God. By just showing up. Okay. And that should do it for now. Oh, sorry for the delay. Vilma, you have the initiative. You guys were initially surprised by this, um, this boulder tumbling down the hill, and as you looked up, a bunch of kobolds scurried behind some rocky outcroppings. Uh, on the cliff face. The cliff face is about, oh, 40 feet up above you guys, and there is a precipice that you are overlooking that is about 40 feet below to the ground. All right, Vilma, what will it be? 40 feet up, we don't see them? You saw where they went. They're oh. behind these little outcroppings here that have been dynamic lighting all off Gotcha. What's further up this path? Uh, further along this path? More of the same. Okay. I can't see any enemies. And we're underneath them. And how, so this is 40 feet high. Okay. I think I will... I don't know. I can't get to them. Should we? I feel like we should just get out of the way. They're gonna keep ro dropping rocks on us, right? <laughs> Shouldn't we like mush the dogs? Get out of their get out of the way. More rocks. We could certainly try to do that. Yes, your ability to handle dogs is legendary. Listen, we they know when I say mush to go. I hope. <laughs> Their command word is actually yip yip. And no fireball for me, so I can't deal with those kobolds. Uh, uh, so, should I. Do I need to make a check to mush these dogs or something? Uh, sure. Why don't you make an animal handling check, which I think is wisdom? <laughs> Alright. Uh, in the sudden panic, the sled dogs cower underneath the cliff face instead of running away with the sled. Uh, it seems like they're trying to get off of the sled uh, and you're unable to get control of them. Okay. That um, was your action. That was my action? Awesome. Yep. Okay. The movement, get away from them. <laughs> All right, you run as far as you can uh, to spread yourselves out. Uh, anything else? Uh, Bonus action? And I... Will draw my weapons, I suppose. I'll draw a couple daggers. Okay. Um. Oh, anything else? Nope. Actually, should would this be better just to go over here? I can't. I don't know. I'll just get over here. Further from the cliff of death. Further from the cliff of death, because they're dropping things. Yeah, I'll go over here. All right. 
uh, one of the kobolds comes out of hiding. Two, four. Okay, uh, and they are going to hurl a javelin down at oh Venric. Why not go for a yeah, why go for not? a small target? You should have disadvantage because I'm tiny, but whatever. Well. If anything, I was going to give him advantage because of height, but no. uh, that's not, not quite a thing. We're not playing Shadowrun. We don't have <laughs> complex shit like that. Yeah, so that does not hit. Uh, he ducks back behind some cover. Right, another kobold sneaks out from behind the cover, and it sees Suvi. It's going to try and hurl one over at Suvi, over the dog, and fails. This guy goes behind cover once more. Uh, they're like shouting at each other uh, in draconic, but it's too distant for you guys to hear as they continue to hurtle javelins down towards Nephros. And fail. Wow. Um, riveting start. Mm -hmm. They run back into hiding. It is Grundle's <laughs> turn. Uh, so Shane is not here. Let me take a look at what he has. Uh, does somebody want to control his actions at all? I know you I can't control his sheep, but like, do you guys have want him to do anything in particular? I mean, yeah, I can take care of him. Sure. What would make sense for Grundle to do? I have to get inside his head. Uh, Rage, Start throw climbing. his great axe off the cliff? Well, well, lately <laughs> he's been a wall? little concerned about transforming. We don't really know mm. why, but he's been kind of timid, so he probably wouldn't rage immediately. Yeah, might try to protect the dogs. This is also true, because we might. lost a lot of dogs. Not he's also puppies. quite reckless. He might climb up after them, since he's That's the one with the best athletics. Mm -hmm. Right. But he might forego <laughs> raging, if at all, until he gets to the top. Right, and then if he's at the top and he rages, he's not near anybody, so... Yeah. He'll be at the top with some that cobalt. Like good idea. Yeah, right. he would not want to rage near people that he loves and cares about. All right, uh, I will have him then... Uh, I gotta get up there. You stay here, doggies. Uh, 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 one, two. Okay. Uh, let's make an athletics check. This makes it very difficult for me to follow you and use protection on you. What's an athletics check? Don't worry, I have a plan. You'll only roll a one anyway, Nephros. Who's well, Nephros? Of course I'm gonna have lots of fun. <laughs> Alright, 12 athletics. Get the dog's moving up. <laughs> what are you doing back there? 12 athletics isn't bad. Um, it's not great for this slippery slope. Uh, so I'm going to say he doesn't make it quite as far as he could have. So he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, I'm going to say he can only make one move action. He's not allowed to dash. DC 15 will have let him dash. All right. Um can't really do much else. So for now, he is going to take the dodge action. Nephros, it is your turn. All right. Um, I would like to attempt to throw a grappling hook up. All right. To make it easier to climb. Up. Yep, that would help. Parkour. Uh, what type of check would you suggest? Hmm. I'm actually looking up grappling hook. Because I don't, it, it might have specific rules. It does not. Okay. <laughs> uh, like dexterity I know athletics, maybe. Climbing gear is just like it prevents you from falling more than X feet. Uh, so I'm just gonna say make a sleight of hand check. Okay. There we go. The old two. Ooh, a two. It's not red. Right. But it is still seven. Uh, you, toss, off of red. you toss the hook up and it skids along the ice and returns to whence it came. Fun fortunate. All right. Um, in that case, hmm. Maybe what I will do then is. hop over to the other side of the sled and attempt to hide behind it. Sure. Okay. It is technically a blizzard, I think, so I will say uh, you have advantage. Or rather, they have disadvantage on perceptions. Okay. Okay, uh, so that is a success. You are hidden behind the sled. 
Um, okay. Uh, so, throwing up the grappling... Getting out the grappling hook is probably bonus. Throwing the grappling hook is action. Hiding is your... Oh, no, hiding oh, is your sorry, cunning action. If, if you're saying... Th well, but then, but cunning action is a bonus action. So if you're saying my bonus action was, like, getting it out... No, no, sorry, that's an item interaction. I'm, oh, I misspoke. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, that's what... All right, yeah, yeah, So that's everything, pretty much. I guess yep. I still have spare movement, but I'm not going to use it. Yeah. Okay. Another kobold... Use up all your economy. Another kobold leaps out from behind the cover, looks to where Nephros was, and can't really get a good look at him. So he's going to make a disadvantaged throw at Suvi, uh, which... Because it's beyond a javelin's normal range. There we go, double twenties. Okay, well, <laughs> far for the course for these kobolds. <laughs> it ducks behind cover once more. Suvi, it's your turn. There's now a good number of javelins sticking out of the snow, but not in anybody. Hey, free javelins, guys! <laughs> <laughs> they love us. They really love rocks. us. <laughs> uh, You're just giving things away. Just throw them back at him. Man, he's out of range now, but, uh... I suppose I should move the dogs out of the crushing zone, huh? Please. Man, my dogs are barking. I'm gonna go over to the dogs and... Hiya! Mush. Okay. Suvi attempts to mush the dogs. That'll still be an animal handling check, but I believe you can use charisma. Or persuasion, rather. Ah, 20. Nothing. That was nothing. It's nothing. You ignore it. It's fine. Natural twenty. <laughs> Don't worry about it. All right. Um. So, with your ten, uh, you are able to mush these dogs. At least the ones on this sled. Uh, how far do you want to move? Just as far as you can. Move them up to this wider area, and then if I still have an action, I want to just ready an attack. All right. Is this good? Sure. Everyone got misaligned a little. Go. Justify. All right, uh, that was your action. All righty. Yeah. I mean, can I take half cover for with the sled or something? Uh, yeah, if you duck behind it, like here or so. Over Actually, uh, I guess if you duck down, you can use this sled as cover. Just hide behind Jeeves. Just hide behind Jeeves. Just hide behind me. Yeah, I think that's good enough for now. I You're will a... be your shield. You're a beanpole. You're not going to last that long. I'm trying to pretend that I'm an ex... A, 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 just a javelin. <laughs> Turn sideways. Where'd he go? <laughs> I've been used already. <laughs> All right, another kobold peers out of hiding. Uh, I don't know if it notices Grundle yet, because uh, they keep popping in and out, so he's going to make a perception check disadvantaged. Okay, yeah, he doesn't notice Grundle coming up. Uh, he's gonna hurl one at Jeeves, the tallest. My tallest? My tallest! Of course. The one time! Uh, oh, hit him. oh, that doesn't hit him. He actually has 14 AC. Uh, Aha! Um, I almost got to use his skill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... It goes straight for Jeeves, but uh, the javelin skids across his his armor. Oh, my goodness, that was close. The kobold ducks behind hiding. And another the kobold... There's javelins I've ever seen. It's a lot of 13s. Um, hey, okay, this the bad stick boy. with a rock tied to it. He's out. He as well. Try to notice Lake Rundle. Passive stealth Grundle. Okay, 12 will do it. Uh, this guy is going to toss a javelin at Grundle and then point him out to the others. Ah, ah. And this time it misses. Oh, are there rules for climbing? You're just slow. I don't think you really lose any defenses, but you don't have a hand free, I think, is the... Oh, thing. I think they, that they, might they be it. You only have one hand, so yeah. two weapons can't be used at all. I didn't know if maybe it was like you lose your decks or some shit, but that's not really a thing as much in here. Also, I'd just like to note that the javelin, even if it did hit, would have dealt zero damage. <laughs> double it, though. Ah, minus one but double. But it's double. <laughs> <laughs> so you just kind of dropped it off the edge and hoped it hit you. It's like that magic card, needle drop. <laughs> yeah. Except it's a kobold. All right. Drop the needle. 
think. Nope, there's still more kobolds going, but, um... Okay, this guy is going to go after the Grundle. Because we got a man. Alright, that is a 12 Grundle. Grundy with it. Has 14 armor class. It misses. Yay! Huzzah! Duck to hiding, and finally it's Venric's turn. Whew! Oh boy, finally! I was trying to see if I'm proficient with javelin. So potentially throw it back. You're proficient with all martial weapons being That's a paladin. Like yeah. Sure. I will warn you that uh, throwing back up is going to be beyond the javelin's normal range. That's fine. Them throwing it down kind of extends its range a bit, but not by much. Gravity helping it, I get it. Yeah. Well, I guess moving the dogs out of the way then. So animal the handling check to move them forward. Okay, animal the handling check. Can you handle it? I don't know. Looks like it. Uh, Venric slaps Jeeves's ass and the dogs mush. How far <laughs> would you like... The How? <laughs> the dogs felt that, guys. Uh, I mean, probably at least moving them like 20 feet forward so they're out of the major chasm. Okay. Um, then I will just leave them off to the side for now. Yeet! Um, That's fine. But we will assume Jeeves is like up here. Yeah. But still on the sled. I just don't want them to fall off the map. The yeah. off-screen arrow, like in Smash Brothers. All right, that's an action. Uh, I guess I gotta go and chase the kid, all right? Here we go. All right. I start climbing up. Make an athletics check. <laughs> right, that is going to be a fail. You are... You're only able to make it, uh... I can't even get up. I slip on the first rock and hit my face. Ow! Uh, yeah, you don't make too much progress. I'll say that you're about there. Okay. Just these short arms. Isn't it, like, um... Climb speed is, like, half your movement speed? It is. Yeah. I... Okay. The way I, I did it with Grundle feet. was I disallowed him from dashing. But yeah. he still moved at half speed. So I'm, like, five feet up. That's, that's like, baby. Yeah. <laughs> baby. There we go. Right. But it's higher than my height. Yeah, stout you are, your feet are off the ground, so there's wow. that. Does that stout nimbleness give you climbing shit or something? No, it's grapple. Oh. Okay, there's two more kobolds left. Uh, let's see, it's this one and this one down here. So they're going to peek out uh, and start throwing at Grundle. Since he's the highest up, they want to get him down first. So they're going to throw two javelins. Hey. All right, one hits him for three damage. They duck back into hiding. Hope they get a lot of javelins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they might have to just resort to rocks soon. All right, I already did him. Vilma, it is the top of the round. What would you like to do? Two of the sleds are uh, moving currently. Uh, yeah, Vilma's at the head trying to, like like waving her hand trying to get the the dog sleds past her and then she looks over and sees everybody's trying to climb and go after them while the dog sleds get away um what are you doing <laughs> we have to we can just leave <laughs> um there's probably more further in but what? <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah there are Probably are more for the rest. It's free XP. We're it's milestones. <laughs> We're milestones, so there's really no point for this. Uh, uh, I'll just focus on getting the dogs through. I think I'll uh, I'll run up here and start like yelling at the dogs. They're never. I know you're trying to hide Defros, but I feel like we should get the dogs out of here now. <laughs> the dogs just leave and he's sitting there crouched. <laughs> Okay, uh, animal handling. Are you trying to get Nephros' dog sled? Yeah, <laughs> comedically, yes. Come on, come on! Over. Hopefully, hopefully it can roll above a 10. Nope. It's a big no. You start whistling for the dogs, but they are too excited to move. Nah, they're protecting Nephros anyways, it's fine. Um, that's all my movement. I'll, I'll use my action again, so... Do you I have? Can't hold an attack. Do you want to inspire anybody? 
I could inspire somebody. Uh, let's just let's just inspire Grendel to get the rest of the way. If you're going anyways, there's a handhold over there. Use that one. <laughs> and I'll just inspire him. I can feel it now. All right. Now time to have five more javelins thrown at him. Yep. Uh, two more kobolds peer out. Ten. And, well... I guess it doesn't really matter if they help each other because it's still two attacks, so they'll just they'll just roll. <laughs> okay, well one hit for two piercing. Okay, these guys head back. Uh, is that yes? Okay. Uh, now it's time for their lair actions. So, initiative count 20. Before, they tossed a boulder. Uh, now, they are going to... Uh, they're going to uh, collectively jump out of hiding, and they start pelting you guys with snowballs. Um, I'm gonna have them attack Venric and Grundle at the same time. Uh, okay, it's a plus five attack. Let's do. Grundle, Venric. Okay, Grundle manages to dodge the brunt of it. Venric, you are hit, uh, and you are blinded for this round. Now, shit, there's As snow, snow in my eyes. <laughs> yeah, snow just tumbles down the hill, uh, and completely gets in all of your eyes. All two of them. <laughs> All two of them. I like the idea that the kobolds, as just like a unified block, slide out from behind cover. <laughs> <laughs> it's like someone's got square-based war miniatures and they just slide them all out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now this unit comes out here. All right, another one's going to follow up with a less friendly. Uh, let's see. Let's just keep... Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll just keep throwing javelins. Yeet, and that's a fail. Bah. Grundle. I'm assuming he's just going to continue climbing up here, so he's going to make a new athletics check. I think he's close enough to just fire a rage to get advantage. Oh, well, not, doesn't he need already it. needs it. One, or doesn't need it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Now I'll say ugh, he has to dash, but he's up. Uh, and he engages the kobolds that are behind this rock. Uh, they shriek in alarm and start pulling out their daggers. He's probably ready to rage then. <laughs> um, I don't know if he needs to. He hasn't taken yeah. much damage from these guys at all. It's just you killing him if he, well, he's not here, so it's your choice. <laughs> Actually, he... He's probably got three of them at this level. He's Fine. below half. He is at half somehow. <laughs> He's well, taken he got hit by the rock last time. Oh, he got hit by the rock last time. Yeah. Okay, then maybe he will rage. It is a bonus action, so he will engage the rage. Defensive yeah. rage. Uh, oh, shit. What kind of rage? I forget. I have to choose for him. Yeah, what flavor do you want? What flavor do we want? Uh, let's see. I think he avoided using his claws last time. But I don't like his claws. No, I thought he used his tail. Well, the bite lets you heal, which is pretty cool. What? It does. Well, That's or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, vampire we'll get... bite. Yeah, he's a living vampire. He's Morbius. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> it's Morbin time. Grundle uh, unleashes yeah, his tiger, fam, fa tiger fangs. It's they... Morbin time. <laughs> uh, he gains a D8 biting attack. Uh, regain the number of hit points equal to your proficiency bonus. Uh, once on each of your turns when you hit... Provided you have less than half your hit points when you hit... Oh, of course. <laughs> well, he can get back up if he gets down. Nephros, you are still hidden. And they are all hidden from me. Yes. A stalemate. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and grapple again, I think. Grab Luke. Right. Slight of and... Okay, that'll do it. You secure the grappling hook uh, somewhere near the top. It will greatly increase your capabilities of climbing. I'll give you advantage on athletics checks. Oh, I'm going to need it. All right. Um, 
Uh, yeah, so I have like 15 feet of movement left, so I'll use that to move up. You still have your cunning action if you have to. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware. I'm ah, just using advantage. up what's left of my first movement. Yeah, advantage. Ah. <laughs> uh, jumps on the wall, starts slowly sliding back down. <laughs> just running, I'm just running in place at the bottom. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, the rocks tumble out from beneath your feet, and it leaves you treadmilling near the base. Uh, I'll say that you're at least five feet up to get some uh, head start for next turn. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I still have my cunning action dash, so I'm going to give it another shot. Unless unless you consider that all within the same athletics role. Um, sure, you can do that. Okay. It might even be worse. It could go. It could go lower. Okay, there. We okay, go. it is better, but it's only one dash worth. So I have 10, 50, 20, 20, 30. So you only get like here. Yeah, that's fine. All right, you start scrambling up the hill. Um, you've gotten to the point where the grappling hook is, and you uh, quickly uh, reel it back in. But cool. you're pretty much near the top. All right. All right. One of the kobolds is going to start surrounding Grundle. Um, and it's gonna start flanking and pack tactics. Triple advantage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sixteen will hit Grundle for five, which is yeah, reduced. Now. Two, three. Suvi, it is your turn. One of the cobalts did come out of the cover, so it is visible to uh, arrows and stuff. Well, I'll give him a longbow shot. It's got a hundred seventy foot range. <laughs> Blam. All right, All right. You peer out from cover and arc your bow, and that just barely hits. But that's all that matters. They aren't wearing mail or plate, it's just padding. All righty. Seven damage, and let's do the uh, added swarm push thing. So I need uh, athletics. All right, I'll just do no damage. Never mind. It's really low. Yeah, I'll just add. Regular damage. Screw it. Five. Okay. Uh, that is a one shot, one kill. The cobalt goes down. Get them, birds. These ice arrows, man. Uh, all right. Anything else, Subi? Mm. Guess I'll move towards the cliff in case anybody falls off. And <laughs> Fair enough. Yes. Another cobalt is going to yep. foolishly expose himself, but it's worth it for, like, the quadrangle advantage. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't hit, even with the flanking. So, just keep going around. Back into cover a bit. Alright, these guys gonna rush out here, and uh, start shooting at Venric. They have advantage, because Venric is blinded right now. Yeah. All right, 14 does not hit because you still have absurd armor class. It's going to peek back behind hiding. This guy, similar situation. Toss at Venric. Cool. All right. Wow. I think, I think this is revenge for all the good rolls you had before. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> this, this is the one karmic encounter in which nothing happens bad to you guys. <laughs> They're just stormtroopers up there. <laughs> yeah, I just hear a bunch of noise, finally clear the snow from my eyes, and just see just, like, all of these things around me. Hey, thanks oh. for the handholds. Uh, you, are, oh. you are still <laughs> you are still blinded. What? Oh, I thought it was until my turn. Until the next turn. Who's next turn? Is the, it my next turn? Their next the turn? The next until turn? the next lair action, which is an initiative count 20. Oh. You, you didn't have a I turn will. to be blinded. Hold my action so I can move when I can see, using the handholds that they have just thrown at me. Okay, you won't be able to dash. You'll only be able to go uh, 30 feet. Okay. Uh, are nothing. you moving in the meantime? No, because I'm blind. I'm not going to try and climb being dumb. Okay. It doesn't give you a disadvantage. Somehow. What? Somehow. Some what? <laughs> Yeah, sure. It's, it's only with attacks. I'm going to close guess. my eyes and start climbing the yeah. on icy cliffs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to move and climb like, Get your like a blind Get your pickaxe out and start climbing. 
Oh, I'm using the javelins that they threw at me. Well, they kind of went down. Use the javelins down. that they threw at me. Okay. Well, <laughs> there was a very lucky one that landed near you. Uh, you feel around and you're able to grab at one of the javelins to hoist yourself up above a oh, no, icy I keep, I keep like ice picking all the way up with it. <laughs> okay. While blind. While blind. Yeah, because why not? Because <laughs> why not? Don't worry. Two blind people in a room have equal chance of hitting each other. Well, you can still you move. Walk, fine. You can still move at half speed. All right, that gets you 30 feet. It said half speed. I, can, I can't dash. You can dash because you succeeded at your athletics check. Okay. All right, you are up. Yep. Anything else? I'm blind. No. All right. No bonus action. I don't have anything. Okay. Then the kobolds run out. Paladin with a bonus action? <laughs> okay. I mean, that's kobold... a slot? <laughs> yes. This kobold sees that you're still blinded for a bit and is going to try a shove attack. Shove attempt. Uh, Here we go. <laughs> yeah. you... Gravity is the best enemy. Minus one athletics. Hope for the best. Uh, actually, it's going next with the kobolds. Okay. No, that's fine. Uh, he will try it on his own. So I'm going to have you make either athletics or acrobatics, and I believe you get to add your stout halfling or whatever uh, that does. I have advantage on strength and or like acrobatics for grapple. Okay. I think that this counts as that. I mean, I was going to try and grapple if I get pulled, so it makes sense. Don't worry. You got a minus All one right. or a zero. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Wait. The reversal ah, throw. Bender could There's still do no worse. <laughs> No, pretty, pretty close. <laughs> well, it's a 17. Uh, he the... can't do worse. He has a plus four. <laughs> but yeah. I know. If I hit the... Dex, then it would be a zero. The cobalt so, starts... Actually, minus one, so I can do worse. The cobalt starts pressing against you with its feet treadmilling on the, the icy ground, uh, <laughs> trying to push you off. You're not sure what's in the way. Perhaps, like, uh, someone's, like... Squat like... nimbleness. I just yeah. squat. <laughs> Low center of gravity. I sit. I think All right. Do the reverse shoulder throw and launch him off the cliff. That terrible roll. Come on. This guy leaps out from hiding and sees that Nephros is climbing. Uh, he's going to javelin. Anyway, I started jabbing. Oh, he's and jabbing. That's a oh, three, four, God. and a three. Man. So sequentially, it's one, two, three, four. You've rolled so far. <laughs> This guy's then just going to decide to maybe help with uh, Grundle because, I mean, Cobalt's love outnumbering people. Mm. It makes them feel better about everything else that's going on. All right, uh, Vilma, it is your turn. There it goes. Makes them feel better about being nerfed in fizz bins. I'm just going to go, like, here so I can, like, jump in in case something happens up there. Uh, but I will hold... Uh, an ice knife for when the next kobold jumps out of here. Okay, what's the range on ice knife? Uh, oh yeah, I should look at that just to make sure. That's 60 40, feet. 60 feet, then yeah, you can definitely hit them. Just bear in mind that it will waste the spell, but they're more than likely to jump out at some point. That's so I, be I believe in their ability to jump out. All right. This kobold jumps out of height. I throw an ice knife at him! <laughs> oh my god, I was so ready for this. Uh, ice knife. There we go. All right. That is going to hit. Uh, the ice knife flies true with the power of your magic and slams into the kobold. It's not adding my power of ice knife. Uh, it's more than that. Uh, wow. So, three on the ten... Charisma save? That should be dex. No, there's no save. Well, it explodes, doesn't it? Oh, no, yeah, they do need to make a save. Uh, it should be dex. Yeah, it's not properly um, coded. I have to oh. That's weird. I mean, I can probably fix that. Uh, it's, I, I can tell you, my DC is 14. Uh, and it's a dexterity save. Okay. For the secondary damage, the secondary three to everything in five feet. So the kobold that's next to Venric as well. 
Okay, they both... Oh, whoops, it uh, did an acrobatics check instead. Okay, uh, what is the DC you said? 14. 14, okay, so one of them does make it. I'll say it's the one that was next to Fenric. Um, okay. So this guy takes, what, six? Six, and the other guy doesn't take anything. Okay. Uh, Little holes, okay. Yeah, it's still, it's still hit. Could have done... Still hit. All right. Uh, a lot more. Yeah. All right. Uh, he still gets his turn. He's going to run towards Venric and <laughs> dare he, <laughs> dare he try that again? Um, he's going to assist another Cobalt and ask for help. <laughs> wow. Which is going to be this guy. Wow. This guy's going to go around Grundle. Just barely not leaving the range, and then he's going to make the athletics check. So, Venric, need a new one. Still blinded, right? Yep. Doesn't give you any disadvantage. Oh my goodness. Well, it's a 13, and you got a 22. Two kobolds are not able to push you. I'm uh, prepared now. There's like Just three kobolds pushing you. <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like three kindergartners trying to push like you a kind of well middle schooler a, a middle schooler i guess how many fourth graders can you fight <laughs> <laughs> apparently a lot I put, I put, i'm gonna say like i put my shield down behind me as like a wedge or something that's keeping me in the snow all right the only way this is working well there is time for a lair action so i, I can say let's have these kobolds come out from around the side here and they start to loosen another one of their boulders. It's going to tumble down in a 15 foot square with Vilma and Suvi inside. I'm going to need both of you to make a dexterity save as a, a boulder comes tumbling down the hill. Oh boy, here it comes. So why is Jeeves not dogs. in the initiative? <laughs> I don't know, Because uh, he's taking care of the dogs. It's fine. He's safe like that. I'm good over here. Alright, well, he's taking half of whatever this amount of damage was. Right, um... Okay, well, maybe you'll be fine. If not, maybe. you can always use a save. Uh, rescue, whatever I called it. Hero point. Hero point. Alright, that is 17 damage to Vilma, and Suvi, you are going to take half, so that's 9. The rock explodes when it hits the bottom, and the kobolds sneakily run back into hiding. Oh, that hurts. All right, this guy's going to go over to Grundle and keep up the dagger show. Freaking kobolds. That's going to hit him for two damage because of his resistance. Grundle's turn. Grundle is raging. He's going to go for a bite attack against the nearest kobold. I'll say the one that's near Venric to try and stop him. Um, and plus, it grants flanking. So that's still not a hit, but okay, plus zero. Okay, uh, it's unfortunately not a hit for Grundle. <sighs> He's not attacking recklessly, so that's it. Nephros, it's your turn. Wait, he has inspiration. Uh, not inspiration, Wait. Bardic inspiration. He does. Uh, it's a D6. Is that true, Vilma, or is it a D8? Uh, you won't let us level up. It's a D6. <laughs> okay, then that's not worth it. He needs to get a 6 to hit the Kobold. Oh, there's a chance. You have a chance. <laughs> Do you want to use the inspiration, Benric, since I put you in charge of him? What? No, no, no. You don't get to put this on me. Okay, then Nephros, it's your turn. All right, we're moving. Uh, all right. Let's do some attacking. All right. You sneak up behind one of the kobolds ever so softly in the snow. And whip out your short sword and make quick work of this dude. Uh, apply your 
damage. That's 14 damage. Yeah, he, he dies. He could dies. Bonk. Oh, he's dead. Alright, um, and then... Umayu wamu shinteru. Oh, I don't think I have any movement left, unfortunate. Um, I will. I will bono action. I guess I'll just bonus action dash and just reposition myself. All right. Sounds good. All right, that'll be it. This guy is incapacitated. Get him out of the initiative. I said get him out of the initiative. Okay, Suvi, it's your turn. What wouldst thou do? Swallow a calzone hole. <clears throat> Aha. <laughs> Suvi chokes down a calzone. <laughs> that's, uh, that's an item interaction, in fact. Calzone. Well, can I see one of these kobolds from here? Uh, yeah. This one is not blocked by Vendrick. Yeah, I'll light him up. Hey, light him up. A natural 20. 18, 18 is more than twice his hit points. He explodes in a burst of oh, icy birds. You gibbed him. It's all right. My anything birds else? Do anything if the corpse is your target dies. Uh, your birds move at 15 feet and toss it off of the cliff face and it falls down to you they look at you smiling expectantly I retrieve my arrow and pet the birdies alright tis this kobold's turn this kobold's going to attack Rundell okay now we're talking two damage hell yeah fuck him up boys <laughs> the best 23 ever rolled alright yeah. these guys decide to join the fight. Uh, this one also is going next, so I might as well just have him go. Six. Okay. Well, he can't quite get it there, so he's gonna he's gonna javelin Nephros with pack tactics and deal zero piercing damage regardless. This guy's going to dagger Rundle and miss. Great. Great. Benrick, it is your turn. I am. Oh, man. I can see now, because you did a lair action, right? I did. Hallelujah, time to bonk. <laughs> That's a tagline for sure. See, it's bonk o'clock. Hallelujah, it's time to bonk. <laughs> you gotta, it's paladin, gotta pray. <laughs> yep, exactly. Hope it pale, Venric. All right, you swing towards the nearest kobold, but there's still a little snow in your eyes, and it goes a bit wide. Rude. Well, I guess I'm just gonna item interaction take out my shield. Uh, sure. It is an action to attach a shield, though. <sighs> Extra. Halfway there. But it's out. Uh, I mean, I haven't moved, so I can technically use. Well, you've already used action. your action to attack. Yeah. Never mind. Let's uh, let's move for flanking. And away from the cliff. And it'd be meat shield. Okay, you circle around the kobold with your shield kind of loosely attached. That kobold does not have a turn. This kobold does. Um, he doesn't have advantage on Nephros, but he does on Grundle, so he'll try for Grundle. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, Maximum dice. Yeah, that's a going to be double damage, so that's 6 instead of 12. Cobalt's full strength. And then this guy's going to move here, just so he isn't getting totally flanked as easily. Vilma, it is your turn. There is an exposed cobalt. Two exposed cobalts, actually. Three exposed cobalts, actually. Ha ha ha. Uh, yes. Um... This is... This might hurt. Rundle, though, but throw this or Benric. Uh, I'll deal more damage to the one here. I'm, I think I'll do another ice knife there. Okay. Yeah, that'll hit a lot of them, but it will hurt potentially Venric and Grundle. I believe in them. I believe in their dexterity saving throws. All right. Um, you launch another ice knife up the hill. 
It's 22. That's oh, going to hit. The right. Now I need to make. Yes. Now it's working, right? Yeah, I dragged the, the spell in. <laughs> I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. Um. I dragged it. Okay, dex saves. One, two, three, four. Okay, well, two of them succeeded. I'll say maybe the two furthest away, so like this one and this one. Grundle, I will do his save, and Venric, I need a deck save from you. Okay. Grapple? No. It is an ice knife. 11 fails. It's a 14. advantage on those two. That sucks. Okay, Venric succeeds. Uh, so two kobolds and Grundle failed. The main kobold is going to take the initial six. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the, uh, the the initial kobold and this guy are going to take seven. And so is Grundle. And then it's none on a save? None on a save. Okay, does I think Grundle has cold resistance, so that's going to be Oops, didn't mean to do that. more damage to Grundle. Oh wait, Grundle isn't a bear totem, so he doesn't have any resistance. Okay. He just uh, takes half damage while he's raging, right? Well, he has advantage no. on deck saving throws, doesn't he? Yeah, but he uh, against effects that he can see, yeah, but he did fail. Um, but he doesn't have, he only has resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. If you're the bear totem, you have advantage, or you have resistance to everything except, except psychic. Except psychic, yep. Either way, two kobolds are downed from this action. But Grendel is not doing so hot. Anything else, Vilma? I can't really see what else is going on up there, so I'm just, uh, I'll move towards the dogs a little bit more. Alrighty. Then we move on. We got another layer action that we can do. Um, Yay! Yay! Okay. Um, the kobolds, uh, this guy is going to duck down and they're going to launch a dart volley that had been prepped behind the stones. Uh, I'm going to have Rundle and Nephros make... Oh no, it's just an attack against you guys. Um, plus five. So I'll do Grundle first, then Nephros. Don't kill him on the lair action, no! Okay, so that's a 16 Nephros. Does that hit you? That does not. Okay. Uh, then you do not take any damage. Grundle, unfortunately... This is piercing damage, so he does take half. Roll low. Did not roll low. Uh, Grundle goes down, but he is a half-orc, so I believe he can go to one. Mm -hmm. Is that something he can do? Yep. Once a yes. day. Okay. Grundle uh, grits his teeth as a bunch of darts shoot out from a prepared trap on the wall. Uh, even though he's bleeding profusely, he just roars and bears through it. This is a dead kobold. <laughs> Grundle is going to bite this man. With his reckless attack. <laughs> bite that man. Actually, bite let's go here. Man. Bite this man with advantage. Uh, should he reckless attack? He already has a... Oh, not advantage. He has flanking. So we will reckless attack. I want help either way, you know? <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> but if they have advantage, there's more chance that they'll do one damage to him. As opposed to none damage. But we hey, bite... They'll flank it. Um, nom, nom, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> got it's cursing. It's cursing him. Worst Grundle well, pilot ever. This is more likely because we got a. We got. What is flanking? Is it plus two in this? I believe it's plus two in this. Mm -hmm. We'll use the inspiration. That's going to hit the kobold. Now we can do damage. And heal for okay. He is going to deal 12 damage, which downs the kobold and he regains hit points equal to his proficiency bonus. Which Yay. is two. He is at three. It's what? something. 
They do hit so low that three damage might matter. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true. It's three times bigger than one, honestly. <laughs> wow, he tripled his health with one attack. He tripled How his is health. this fair? Nephros, OP. Your turn. OP broken, please nerf. Boston. He might move over here, actually, just to help with flankies. That seems reasonable. Um. Alright, let's, um. Let's get, let's get into the mess, into the mix. Let's get go into for this the board. checks mess. Yes. Hmm. Well. Mix it up. Frankly, right? <laughs> that is not a hit. That do not be a hit. So let's do a offhand swipe with the dagger he do. Right, and the offhand chance that you want to stab him with the dagger, you may attempt it. Yeah. And it succeeds. Uh, as you go to swipe at him with the sword, the kobold ducks, leaving an opening wide enough that you're able to stab him uh, right under the gut with your dagger. Roll for damage. And, well, oh. what? them's are Ow. kobold numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that's... Yes. A, well, he does Do not you... have his ability score, so... Oh, because it's an offhand. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I guess that is pretty low. Uh... You stabbed the kobold, but it missed his vitals. He's still kicking, but bleeding profusely. Anything else? Um, no, I'm gonna stay right where I am. Okay. Suvi! Let's what see. It looks like there's one that's technically visible between Nephros and Venric. There's one behind Venric, but it's behind Venric, so you could hit Venric. Venric, Venric, Venric. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Venric, the guy behind Venric, the kobold behind Venric. It's the kobold for Venric. Venric's kobold. <laughs> so what, does this one, like, have cover or something? Uh, no. Not this guy. Yeah, I'll go for it then. The only thing in front of him is a dead kobold. I don't think an eight's gonna do it. Nope, it soars over the kobold, went a little wide. Darn wind. It is a blizzard, so hitting anything in this is mighty. Anything else? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Alright. Suppressing fire from down below. Shout some words of encouragement up. You can do it! This kobold, man, his only chance of escape is to disengage. Jump off the You cliff. thought I was going to say kill Grundle, didn't you? All right, uh, let's go here. Let's disengage, and he's gonna run off into the snow. <laughs> um, let's see, one, two, three, five, six. He can make it precisely there, and end his turn. This kobold is also probably gonna disengage. Let's go one, two, four, five, six. This kobold, this guy's at full health and he's only being threatened by one person. He's not going to disengage, provoking an attack from Venric. Yes! Smite him. <laughs> Someone made a choice. All right, that is going to hit. Weesh. Oh, not quite. There's five damage. I'm, I would like to smite. You would like to smite. Crit, 2d8, 1d8. It's 2d8 at the minimum. Right, that is 11 damage. That is enough to down this kobold as he tries to join his friend, albeit a bit recklessly. Uh, and he goes down, cracked his head in the snow with a flash of foxfire. <laughs> All right. Brutal. Scree. And it is coincidentally Venric's turn. I will move over to Grundle, and I think I have Leon. I have four left. Give him three. Wow, thanks. That's the most anybody's ever given me. No. Actually, hmm, let's do cure wounds instead. Yeah, that might have a bigger number. Ow, give me back my health. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what One, flavor of divine healing do you want this time? Two of three spell slots gone, and end my turn. Doesn't taste as good as cobalt flesh. 
But it'll do. Stop eating people. Sorry. He's on the red. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean to. Okay. He's on the cobs. Vilma, it's your turn. There's two kobolds that are heading for the hills. They are not as visible to you. I see them run away and limbs flying around. It's like, okay, they're going crazy <laughs> up there. Uh, let's try and wrangle these dogs. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to just like really concentrate and just just try to like pull the reins up, even if it's like half speed. Just like, come on, come on, let's go. Okay. Get the yeah. Thing. Make a, the falling stones. Make another animal handling check with advantage. The kobolds have died down. Okay. Uh, kobold season. Uh, there All go. right. Yeah, you're able to get control of the sled dogs. Cool. All right. Where do you pull them? Um, I want them to move forward. Then I'll just like jump on and, and try to like catch up uh, with the other dogs at least. Just so sure. We, just just to keep them safe. In case something else is further up ahead. That's 15 foot square for us to sit in. Sure. Uh, Susie, hop on. <laughs> Alrighty. No more lair actions because there aren't enough kobolds to do them. Uh, Grundle is going to. Do you guys think he would run after the kobolds or let him go? Run after the kobolds. Alright. I don't know if he's like turning a new leaf or not. On, on that kind of thing. He but. did bring one back last time. Yeah, yeah. He's you. You were teaching him. He was learning from you about. He's also raging at the moment, though. That he yes. wasn't raging then. Do no we want to? Uh, Shane might be listening still. Do we want to give him a second? <laughs> Morbs. <laughs> if he uh, wants to. <laughs> oh, is he in the the Twitch chat? He was. He been... was texting some stuff. Yeah, he's like, I know when my boy Morbs out, and we're like, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, and he asked about if anything. Then, so. Maybe I will give him a, uh, like a mor morality check. I'll give him oh, a. What's a morality stat? <laughs> there, there isn't one. Um, I'll have him do a wisdom save. And I'll have it be against his strength. So it's a plus zero versus a plus three. That makes sense. Metal. <laughs> Fucking metal. All right, we'll do the first. Well, actually, I he's can typing. Just... Oh, he's typing. Oh. <gasps> Is he? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. He's typing. Oh, Work at whatever get... you just said. He's I gotta typing. get in there. <laughs> Everyone, shut the fuck up. Well, I'm curious anyway. Let's let's roll it anyway. Just yeah. We'll do the strength first. <sighs> Can he make that wisdom check? I think it has to be natural 20. Oh, <laughs> he's really struggling with this. Uh, he doesn't want to feel the guilt that he did last time. Close your eyes. <laughs> just close your eyes and sh shred him apart with your mouth. What? It's just ham. Uh, <laughs> Grundle, Grundle uh, starts to feel the rage overtake him. Um, he manages to uh, to quell it a bit uh, as he starts like growling towards the sky. He goes to like run after the kobold, but Venric is able to stop him. Wait, Grundle! And he turns back towards Venric with like a, a glare in his eye. Uh, his eyes have like turned this yellowish gold, um, and he is snarling with his tooth full of tiger fangs. Was mouthful of tiger fangs. Um, you can see him like shrink away. He just ends up taking out his rage on one of the already slain kobolds, uh, just snarling and smashing it to pieces uh, before he finally ends his rage voluntarily. This music oh. was about him. <laughs> <laughs> Very dramatic. It wasn't the kobolds we should have been, <laughs> been worried about. Nephros. There are still two kobolds left. Oh, they do be running, though. They are running. We They're... don't like that, do we? <laughs> um, we, we can't have witnesses. <laughs> no, I'm gonna... Um, daddy, think. The things I should be on track. Um, I'm going to... Let me think. Brain daddy. <laughs> the brain father. That one that's running away, that's... uh not wounded 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's say. There we go. I'm gonna shout at him and be like, Yeah, you run away, you yellow belly little rodent of a reptile. This is Mercury? Yes. The bellies right. are white. It's a wisdom safe, correct? Yes. Oh. All right. Cannot hear you over the howling winds. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Uh, and then I am going to, like... Hey, um, Vendrick, if the kid's all right, I think we ought to get down this cliff. Hey, yeah, uh, I guess gather what you need from all this nonsense. I have everything that I need. Okay, all right, we're gonna... Let's go. uh, did I'm I gonna... say that? I'm gonna grab him by. Is he wearing a belt? I'm just gonna grab him by the belt and be like, "All right, come on, this way. Let's go." Mine else? Is he mobbing out? <laughs> grab my arrows. Have sex. Have sex. <laughs> oh no! You <laughs> read too much of the book. Too much of the book. <laughs> no. Not the book. Not the coloring book. That's a the porno. <laughs> okay. Right, down the uh, are you guys then letting the cobalts escape? Only Nephros, Venric, and Grundle can really do anything about it. Yeah. I'm, I'm done with them, yeah. Okay. The kobolds then head for the hills and make it there. Only one of them is wounded in this regard. Alright. So, combat dies down. The blizzard still rages on. You guys are at the top of a 40-foot escarpment. Had a grappling hook, right? There was. Yeah, I can... Yeah, you can lower the grappling hook down uh, just to make an easier sleight of hand check I since you're do, not trying to toss it anywhere. I do yep. want to be in range just for with for Featherfall, just in case. Yeah, sure. I think Featherfall has like 60 foot range, so you might yeah, be fine. So. Yeah. Right, I also removed the thingies. Alright, uh, yeah, you whip it around a rock, uh, tying it onto itself, and you create a secure pulley. Alright, uh, I guess to get you guys to climb down, it's just going to be an athletics check from you all. Are you guys done up here? Uh, I was going to check the bodies and kind of like see if they had anything on them. Waste not, want not. But also see if maybe, I don't know, uh, were they hiding something or were they camping out up here? I don't really know who they are or what they were doing. Sure. Well, that all seems to fall under the purview of investigation, so Where? roll that up. Grundle will not assist. <laughs> Man, there's really not much up here. Why were they here? Well, let's head down now. I don't know how a kobold thinks. They had spears and... I don't know. <laughs> Daggers? Yeah. Mm. This might not have even been their home. Just be glad they forgot to sharpen all these javelins. Like poking them. <laughs> They're all very blunt. <laughs> They're... These are actually just stage props. <laughs> this one's just a pine tree limb. Like, they Did didn't even shave off the pine needles. Did we interrupt an elaborate rehearsal? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, well, with your investigation yielding nothing, Venric, sadly, um, I'm gonna have you three make athletics checks. You have advantage thanks to Nephros' grappling hook. Patent pending. If one of you falls, oh, you all yeah. might as well just jump off as well. <laughs> Let me get some use out of this spell slot. <laughs> oh, please. I put the rope up. I think I know how to... <laughs> <laughs> Ignore the strength save. Uh, Grundle is able to, to get down pretty easily. Okay, I'm saving two of them. <laughs> okay, oh, no, Nephro slips. Venric goes to try to save him and slips as well. Uh, and they both start tumbling down the hill. Vilma uh, lets out a word of magic that causes them to fall gently. Grundle shouts, Oh, me too! And jumps off of the wall. Uh, Vilma can still target an additional person and extends it begrudgingly to, to allow Grundle to fall safely. Uh, it's like I'm floating on a cloud. Yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah. To get supported. D did I miss anything? Up to five creatures. Lots of rocks. Ah, good. Well, I'm a twig, so it's good that I stayed out of that. 
certainly wait, didn't wait. forget to roll. Uh huh. Anyway, let's let's move on. Yes, let's leave this place, lest there are any more of them nearby. It's kind of reckless going up there I get hit and attacking really hard them. By a rock. And Grundle's been stabbed a lot. Maybe we should take a breather. I mean, it would be I'm nice hurting. to take a nice big rest. Ugh, I use another cure of wounds on him. Mmm, yummy. Yep, eat them up, big boy. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the visual of him trying to eat Venric's hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll heal you I'll here. I'll lay on my hands. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> The fine energy is like the Cheeto dust on it, and he's licking it off. Uh, it's like a glittering... <laughs> it's just Add. a glittery dust. <laughs> Add three more from Lay on Hands. Sure. As well. Should probably undislocate my shoulder now. Yeah. Oh. Our wounds. Oh, it's not the right button. All right. Um, so. Um... It sounds like you guys might want to take a short rest. Uh, do you guys want to flee this area to find a, a, a safer place to, to hide for now? Uh, yeah. That's what I was going to suggest, yeah. yeah are we like on the way down or up a mountain? Uh, you're kind of on a mountain pass. It was the only safe way around this mountain without climbing it fully or just like going through the rocky bottom. You need to get your sleds through after all. Yeah, we could probably clear a bit more distance and then hunker down somewhere. Okay. Yeah, maybe get on the other side of the pass. I will have uh, Suvi, and if anybody's proficient, they can assist him make, an, make a survival check to try to find a safe place to hide in the mountains. I and then Grundle's Grundle? the only one? Yeah. yeah. Might. Yeah, he definitely does. For the only ones. He does. No, can't see it's, just, it's just very low, but he does have it. Um... Okay, I so take the advantage and do fourteen, save some rolls. Yeah, I mean fourteen is pretty good. So uh, you make it a fair distance away from potential cobalt encounters and find an overhang that looks like it's not like an overhang that could drop rocks on you, not so much as shelter you from the elements. Uh, you think it's a pretty safe bet to hole in there, and you guys do. Just like climbing Calvin's cairn. Yeah. You guys Ooh. nestle yourselves in there. So, uh, you guys can take a short rest. I will also uh, have Grundle do that. We'll spend his hit dice. Short rests are useless! Well, not really. They heal you. Six. They're useless for you. Well, they take no in-game time. I didn't even take any damage. I actually don't even need to do this. I still have two hit die. Yeah, I mean... Good for you, I guess. <laughs> good for you, <laughs> Mr. Like, 20 AC. Would love to have, like, a long rest so I can heal people. What is, we have, there's more time in the day. It's just we need to tend to these open wounds, <laughs> Venric. Well, I already healed <sighs> most of them. Look at my beautiful uh, grundle rolls. Got Two natural ones on the natural D12. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're pretty cursed today, aren't you? Why are you I, infecting Grundle with it? I used oh all God. of his hit dice, and I did not get him near full. I got him to 41 out of 50. He's got a lot of beef. Where's the beef? beef. Right here, you know, buddy. It, the more, more ones Chris rolls, the more, or the less ones that Nephros will roll. That's not true. That's not true at all. That's not true at all. Mutually <laughs> exclusive. I'm saving it up. Red eights. Yo, if you survive, if you survive this, you're gonna be you're gonna roll so good later. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> right. All right. Um, as you guys are taking a short rest in hopes that the blizzard dies down, uh, it does start to a little bit. Um. Oh, because of my blizzard icon, I have no clue on what time of day it was. Well, <laughs> perfect. Weather, the time is is blizzard and the weather is blizzard. Yeah. We it's left to blizzard o'clock. Blizzard o'clock. We met the dwarves. We, we crossed the river. We met the dwarves and then we got ambushed. 
Yeah, so I think it might have been evening at this point. So I'll say that night falls. Um, as night is falling, I'm going to have... Let's say... I think Suvi has the highest passive perception. 16. Mm. 16? Perfect. All right. Um, you notice... Because uh, you picked a place uh, with your survival with a pretty good vantage point of like potential entry points. Uh, so going back and forth from like either side of this like overhanged area, it's almost like a tunnel through the mountain, but a, where you can see both ends the the tunnel. You see that ahead of you guys, there's at least seven humanoids starting to walk towards you. The blizzard is starting to die down, so you're able to spot them, um, but they're still pretty far away, and as night is falling, it's hard to tell exactly or what they are. What do you guys want to do? What direction are they coming from? They're heading towards you guys, and they're coming from the east. The east... Okay, is that up the path or of the pass or? Um... Yeah, I'm sorry. Do you say that you, you talked about like the path? Are they or sorry, the pass like through the mountain? Are they coming f through that towards us or? I'll say that you guys made it like here. Um, you're like mm -hmm. heading through this mountain on the map, um, and they, while you guys are like getting ready to go down on this bevel of the mountain, uh, they're heading across from the east. Does that make sense? Oh, they're going from west to east. Yeah. Along like, you guys are okay. getting ready to go down. They're coming... Uh, sorry, they're coming from east to west. Did I say west to east? I'm not... Yeah, I, I was just confirming which direction they were going. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of what's happening. All right. Well, we're not out here seeking a fight, so maybe we just hunker down and wait for them to pass. Mm, that sounds like Can a we get idea. our weapons ready? Why don't you get that shield on, uh, Venric, just in case? But no attacking unless they attack us first. You know, that's how it always happens, so we'll keep up with it, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, we met those nice dwarf travelers before, yep. so it's just another traveling group. We didn't murder them. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. You know, just making sure you're not going to be on some bloodlust thing, that's all. Well, I, I'm ready to defend myself. I'm ready for a bloodlust thing. No, Grundle. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bad influences around here everywhere. I'm not in control of my actions, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> huh, weird, I, you don't say. Wh why is that, huh? I You're let Jesus lucky. take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that all omnipresent figure? Or what? Authority figure? Whatever it is. Uh, sorry. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, you wait. Uh, are you guys making any effort to hide? You guys haven't made camp yet. I suppose uh, we could just kind of stuff the 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 sleds into crevice, but we got barking dogs, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it makes sense to try and hide with the yeah, dogs. Yeah, just out in the open. We're here. This is our spot. They can just see look, us better. Look, not suspicious. Basically. Yeah. It's okay. Maybe. If Try they're coming to us, they're coming through us. I got my weapons out and I'm ready to hail these people if they get okay. too Okay, you guys take your weapons out and start casually leaning against things to in an effort to look normal and casual. You uh, belong if... here, guys, okay? Okay. <laughs> Circle the dog wagons, you know. As you guys wait, the figures start to come into view. Um, they seem to be getting bit taller than you had initially thought. Um, but it doesn't get yet. much more than that. Goliath. As seven or so one? Goliaths come into view. <laughs> I'm the only one happy about this. <laughs> do, do, one of them, them or not? One of them points God, up to where you more. guys are. It starts uh, shouting in giant at the rest of them. Gorl, nani totag! I just wave. I will do a <laughs> greeting. I'll do a Goliath greeting in Giant. Alright. Um, Vilma steps out. 
pounds her chest twice and holds up her hands in surrender. Um, not yeah. not surrender, but you know, like in a non-threat. Um, you also call out in giant. They stop for a minute and then they repeat the action to you. Oh God! Then they start running up the hill. I'll I'll step out of the cave and meet them. Okay. Uh, they run up the hill and they're all smiles. They've got like uh, stuff on their backs, like huge packs filled with stuff. And uh, there's a whole mix of people here, um, but most of them look like strapping, adventurous folk. Uh, the one that gets to you guys first has two like facial tattoos um, that are kind of surrounding their eyes um, and then travel down onto their chest, uh, just like exposed to the cold. Hail, uh, I see you with other non-giant folk, but well met out here in these wide mountains. I am Swift Hauler, leader of this band. Uh, greetings to you. Uh, so rare to see other Goliaths um, around the around the entire dale. Uh, greetings, greetings. I'm Vilma Cozy Lutfas, and uh, this is my adventuring group as well. Non-giant. I'm not that short. I'm very short, so it's fine. I take care of this group. I guess I'm a medium, I suppose, comparatively. Not everybody gets to be tall. Yeah, Says the I'm, one who I can change their height. <laughs> I imagine we're speaking completely in giant at this point. Sure. Um, nobody else really understands giant besides Suvi and Vilma, I think. Um, but the Goliaths do talk in common when they start seeing that there are other folk. But they'll what? talk in giant if you want to talk privately. I imagine, yeah, initially we would be, but if they if they want to change out of uh, consideration, then we can do that for sure. So, Everybody's Vilma, a polyglot out here. Vil Vilma Kozilut, that's a very foreign name. Uh, uh, of course, I'm from uh, further south mountains. Um, I've been actually meaning to get in touch with the tribes out here. You in touch with the tribes? You're not dressed like you're from around here either. You must be very far south. Up north, we expose ourselves to test our metal. He bangs his chest against the Frost Maiden's ire. Believe me, I have no problems with that. I don't like to uh, show off too much. It's It makes the... Uh, I'm in more the lowlands more often nowadays, so it makes them feel more comfortable around me. Doesn't like to show off. Then you must not have heard of the boasting. Have I heard the boasting? Make a history check. I'll give you advantage since you are a Goliath. You have heard tale that Goliaths of the far north tend to believe it to be not only like, acceptable, but polite and desirable to boast about your achievements and to prove yourself better than others, or at least worthy to yourself. Ah, I've been spending too many times with lots of little folk. <laughs> well, we'll be the judge of that, won't we, lads? Aye, ha <laughs> ha, Let's see how strong these folks are. Hmm, it is we night. We but just got into a fight. we can Did find a challenge for you. A fight, you say? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. We we're beating up a bunch of kobolds on a cliffside. So, if if you actually want to have a good challenge, then we need rest. <laughs> rest, rest is not something that we really believe in. Rest claims us when we can enjoy life no more. Tell you what. All of you, we will not do trial by combat, but we do challenge you to endurance. Endurance, my friends, endurance! <sighs> they pound their chests. 
Fenric stands up, just like that slow old man, like, put hands on knees and gets up. All right. Fenric, are you all right? You I'm... got up like I do. Yeah, it's, I'm tired. It's a thing that happens. Should we... Should we just put them to sleep? Yeah, probably not. It, you're not strong enough, Jeeves. Oh, you don't need to be strong to help people sleep. I can make tea. Do you accept our there. challenge? Your challenge? Your call. Do you You're challenge challenging... Swift Hauler and his band to endurance? A challenge of endurance with you? Well, I could show you, uh, uh, northern boonies how uh, a challenge of endurance is done. Ho 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 ho! They all look at each other and start clapping each other on the back. We have a challenge then! Make a persuasion check, why don't you, while you're at it? I find I Goliath think friend. I will. I think I'm gonna roll above a twenty again, Chris. <laughs> oh. Well, that you did, my friend. Uh, they accept your boast and are more than willing to accommodate. Um, let's see here. Darn, where is this? Do 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 do. So, um, Swift Hauler walks with his band into your, like, little tunnel that you've made to, uh, outlast the winter's rage, um, and hopefully make camp for the night, and they arrange themselves in a circle, or a semicircle, uh, opposed to you all. We will... All our numbers for your sake, and the elder can sit out. Oh, thank God! I still have no clue what's happening. Could someone like clue me in? Is what what is going on? I'll know, explain the rules. I'll explain the rules. He holds his hand out um, to just just like, covers Vendor's face. everybody. I will explain the rules. We will all stand as long as we can, and the last one standing wins for their team. It'll be five versus five, and I will be participating. This is it? That's all I have to do is stand? Yes. Leave me on the rift. What's the catch? The Goliaths that are participating, besides Swift Taller, um, bend down, get onto their hands, and stand up in a handstand. That is the catch. Steal Are you ready? Steal yourselves. Would you say that this is... So this would be... A, since it's endurance, would this be strength or constitution? This is going to be constitution. Um, uh, yeah. It's going to be constitution checks repeatedly until uh, one of you fails a check. Then they get knocked out. And the objective is to go as long as you can. Do I have to do this in armor? I they suppose feel naked. not. That's up to you. You can do it actually naked. <laughs> <laughs> can you do a handstand in armor? Handstand in, in dog form? Um, I don't think it'll be as mighty if you do. It'll be mighty if you do it in half form. So will probably be impressed with that. Mm, I'm good. S steal but. myself. I've done a lot of stealing before, but I doubt that's going to help. Hmm. Oh, steal yourself. Right. If you a challenge, right? Uh, I will steal myself via enhance ability, constitution saves, constitutions and checks. Bears endurance. <laughs> Your chest gets very hairy. Yeah, that's uh, more like it. Don't grow body hair. Sorry. <laughs> um, Not unless I'll they have go. a belt of dwarven kind. That is true. Yeah, I'll, I'll just take off my coats because they really don't help me at all in the in the winter anyway. So. Decorative. All right. They are. They're literally decorative. <laughs> you take off your coat 
And the Goliaths nod. Yes. Steal your skin against the winter's chill. Let us make our checks. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to drop these. Everyone's like unbuckles his weapons and kind of puts them on the ground. <laughs> All right. Um, so this is going to be a constitution based athletics check. <laughs> Could be any skill menu. <laughs> I just, no, I just can't. I broke it already. <laughs> when I go to do the headstand, can Nephros stick both his horns in the ground for stability? <laughs> <laughs> to form the tripod? <laughs> Your your horns. Do you what you want? I'll give you plus one. Nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I really shouldn't. I'm sitting this one out. All right. Let me I get use my big hands and jam them in the snow and get up there. Get the dice roller going. Okay. So with their constitution is plus three. Their athletics is proficient, so they have plus two. So they are going to be making plus five checks. Con Everyone... athletics, you said. Con athletics. So if you're proficient, you can add your proficiency modifier. Otherwise, it's just a constitution check. Yep. Uh, and I will do Grundle as well, which he is proficient. Proficiency 2 and constitution 3. Okay, he can technically just make an athletics check because his constitution and strength are the same. So, okay, I will do Grundle's. Mine too. Grundle speaks giant, everyone. <laughs> Natural 20. Remember, remember that. Grundle like oh. moves one of his hands. Oh, I know away this trick. Balances a little bit. Like this? Excellent! His loincloth drops, of course. This one knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Damn it, Grundle. And he can expose himself to the winter's chill. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. They're gonna make their five opposed checks. Just gonna do them all at once. Pretty good. Okay. Oh, that is not what I intended to do. Um, ah, 70. I, we lost. I, he's, <laughs> well, that's 5d20 20, 20 plus 5. 15, yeah, I think. Well, I mean, a group yeah. check could hit just have a giant DC like that. 17, 25, different. 21, 11. And so we will assume that is 17, 25... Okay, that, that's what you were saying, I yeah. see. Uh, 11, 16. Okay. So... We beat um, them. We have an 84. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I advantage on mine, so mine's also a 25. Alright. The DC is 10. Um, so nobody gets knocked out this round. The DC oh, increases cool. now to 11. So you guys all make your checks. I got a Scrundles. heavy scale. Oh, I have the same con. Yeah, I have the same con, so I'll just do regular. Yeah, you can take shortcuts if need be. That's a 12. Okay. Oh boy. Soupy slips, so no. My scarf got in my face and I fell. <laughs> uh Suvi gets knocked out. Benric, where's yours? Oh damn it. Uh I already did that. Well you need to do another one. Sorry. They keep going. Yeah, the years stop coming and they don't stop coming. Horns in the ground so I don't hit it running. Okay, that's a success. And now they will go. I'll do them individually this time so that math is easier. Math. And Nefers is like looking over Ooh, the woozle, Wow. Like... <laughs> oh my god. Illumination. <laughs> Chris. Knock them all over Domino's Any of them what? Pass. <laughs> One pass. One pass. One pass. As Suvi slips. Uh, he skids around on his hands for what seems like an eternity before he suddenly falls, and four of the Goliaths start rolling on the floor laughing. Um, <laughs> it's like a, it's like like a my bowl, scarf is probably wrapped bowl. around my face. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the only one left is uh, Swift Hauler, and mm -hmm. he is just gritting his teeth. <laughs> it's good fun, but... We must keep going. Getting tired? You wish, Southlander. <laughs> I Ooh. yawn with one hand. Yeah, okay. yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go again. Those who are still in the running, you make... only need to roll once now, Chris. 
<laughs> yeah, I do. That's thankful. Uh, the DC is now 12. No! Not very far to fall, is it? No. Oh, I'm waiting for another one, but it's Grundle. Okay. Here we go. No! No! <laughs> Wait. He just got the joke. You gotta, you gotta roll. You gotta roll for the other one. He rages. What if we all fall? I'm not falling. I have advantage. Oh, nice. All right. Don't worry, the double ones will come for you. And now we see what Swift Hauler gets. Drum roll, please. Okay, he's still in the running. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just you and me. North versus South. My band versus your party. Who, who will win? Belma, Belma. <laughs> I think we all know, as my name is being chanted. The Goliaths start chanting in giant for Swift Hauler. Swift Haul! Swift Haul! I'm gonna have those that are knocked out make performance checks. Oh, it becomes a dance off. Huh? If your group check, oh, if, if your group check is 15 plus, <gasps> then they will get advantage. Come on, Grundle. Minus one. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, I what Steve's got. We do need. We do need a tiebreaker. <laughs> Come on, Jeeves, get in here. What? <sighs> Cheer for Vilma. I, I suppose. <laughs> Telly forth. I would have laughed if it was a one. <laughs> uh, no such luck. Let's see if the Goliaths can do better. What is their charisma plus I'll, uh, zero? I'll, I'll yell at Venric. Sing louder! And can I bardic inspire him? <laughs> inspire him to be I better. I need to inspire myself. Drop uh, my name louder! Inspire him to cheer better. Yes, that is better. That is better. Okay. Both of you have advantage as you are inspired by your comrades cheering for you. Cool. Let's roll once more. The DC is now 13. I just realized Vilma already had advantage, but... Yep, yeah. <laughs> it only helped him. Uh, All right. Well, yeah. Okay, well, great. That's par for the course for me. Well, great. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep going. I'm doing push-ups. The DC is now 14. Mad nines, yo. Oh, <gasps> no! You have advantage! You have advantage! Oh, oh, but... I did have advantage. Oh. <laughs> Didn't I? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it was... Bad luck. Unfortunately, the luck is no longer on your side. The... Fucking ice patches everywhere. Yeah, it, it's a bit slippery, and you finally... Finally... Uh, are knocked down. Swift Hauler then writes Can I himself. Acrobatics, <sighs> at least, <laughs> to make myself look cool landing. Sure. I need to save face. I need to save face, Chris. I can't have this happen to me. You manage to not, like, fall in an ungraceful way. You just kind of tumble down to the ground. Uh, Swift Hauler gets to his feet. Ugh, nice moves. But. I was still able to outlast you, but your friends also outlasted some of mine. Admirable qualities. They're good people. As are you, Vilma of the South. There's your tribe, by the way. My tribe? Hmm. My tribe is the Akanathi clan. The Sky Tower, as those who speak giant know. I do. I know. I know, I know the whole time. You didn't <laughs> have to Sky say Tower. He just, he looks at other people while he says that. Okay, thank you. I appreciate I it. I didn't that. know. We hail from the Sky Tower shelter. Oh, big ah. surprise there. You can find it far to the east. Far to the east. Is that near Worm Doom? Worm Doom. You have heard of our rivals then. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, they say, uh, somebody says they were the next closest. Um, yes, I'm trying to find any of the tribes out here. Of well, you course, have found uh, us. Clearly, uh, the superior ones being so 
strong and powerful out here. Is this a kind words. thing you're, you're trying to flatter? Oh, okay, yeah, just making sure. Kind words, but you know not of our trials and tribulations. Perhaps you should visit us, and we can talk at length. I would love that so much. You have no idea. <laughs> See, we're currently on a quest to go south right now. We're a little bit busy trying to make sure that some of us don't well, die. Like Utah, but what? we will be there eventually. There's oh. a great evil nestled in the deep in the spine of the world, and we're moving to try and excise it. Yes, adventuring oh. things, as you know. A great evil. Well, should you survive your trial, go to the Akanathi to the Sky Tower shelter and tell them Swift Hauler was bested by you. They will have to believe it. Okay. If you say so. Um, also, could you... I'll just get out the map. Could you just point out where it is for us to find it? Your map has already been updated. Oh, yes. He's so quick. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, it is closer. Oh, good. I have <laughs> given you... I've put a waypoint down. Those other if you check lie, your quest log, I should be in there. Ah, uh, my other Icewind Dale map has frozen. That's fine, I suppose. Actually, that's it not fine. Cold. <laughs> God damn it! I have no clue what's up with Microsoft Edge and Roll Twenty lately, but this is the Microsoft product. I guess, but I mean, Chrome doesn't even open Roll20 anymore, so... Oh. It's, it's got me. weird computers out there. Mm. <laughs> I have no clue what's wrong. <laughs> Fine for me. It only ha started happening when Edge started... When Edge updated, like, four days ago. That's and so I have no clue what's wrong with it. But I need to figure out something soon, because... This has happened three times now, where just my side window has just frozen solid. And it's a pain to get back. But I suppose I'll have to. Um, Good luck with that. Mm. Have you any more questions for, for me? Uh, well, we're on our way to contend with the ancient psychic beings. I'm wondering what your, your group is uh, c looking to contend with. Well, we are mostly just dealing with personal strife with the Wormdoom clan. But I do not know. I have been on journey for a while. We regularly go on these pilgrimages to test our strength in metal. Oh my god, I gotta go look at the notes from a million years ago. What was the name of that guy <laughs> who died up with the Yetis? Let's see if they know him. Uh, not the dwarf. Was it feels that there was a Goliath. Goliath. That was yeah. one. Yeah, we went with Boy to go and try and rescue him. Jay something. It was right? it, yeah. It was Boy's mm. master. Yeah, in Kelvin's Cairn. Yes. Well, you went with you went and found Boy's master. Yeah, but he was yeah. the guide. He was yeah. guiding there was, a Goliath. There was a tiefling right? and a Goliath. Yeah. Yep, a tiefling, a Goliath, and a halfling. Oh, right. He's trying to defeat the moon bear or whatever. Yeah, he yeah. was going after a uh, fabled deity of uh, of the Goliath, a white bear. They wanted to yeah, tackle them. <laughs> they wanted to they wanted to wrestle and prove that they are greater than that god. Well, he found something white, but it turned out to rip him to pieces. <laughs> yeah, they did find a white bear on the mountain eventually. <laughs> Well, Good unfortunately, to find this guy. <laughs> I do not I know their name. If they've seen anything with the impact of this nautiloid. Oh, yeah. Did you well, see you can, any you... straight falling stars recently? There was a falling star near here. I... I was not the one who saw it. Uh, but my friend here, Swiftwind, uh, they were able to see it. Indeed. I I was on watch that night, and I saw it from a distant mountaintop. It came 
somewhere in this area, I think, over this mountain. We have not seen anything like it, though. We are hunting the falling stars out here. Well, best of luck to you, then. Aye, best of luck. One more thing. There was a name. So you say you... Um, out here you take uh, these excursions out for challenges. Do you know Oya Minartok? Oya Minartok. And I'm Oya Minartok. That is a deity among our kind. Oh, not that. What's the name? Sorry. I thought that was his name. You know of our deities. Well, to that I applaud you. One of us knows of one of them, of Oya Minotok. Oh, the, uh, is it someone who's typing in the chat? It might be. Ready for this minus one religion check? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and oh, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that someone in the room with us right now? We're doing a seance to summon a grundle. It, it's me. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I could I could yeah. see him on mobile. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know if he's coming on or not. Um. Anywho, Mokingo I did get is the name I was looking for. By the Mokingo, way. yes. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know what clan he was a part of. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. I may look that up. Yeah, uh, yeah. Grund Grundle knows about Oya Minotaur, though. Yeah, yeah. what I was going to say was the kids told us stories. He believes he was saved as a child by Oya Minotaur. Is that my dad? Mom, if anything. He seems to have some of their shape-shifting powers from what we've seen. If this is true, then you, my friend, are blessed. Puts a hand onto Grundle's shoulder. I'm Nani. You have been blessed by Oya Minotark. You should use that blessing wisely. It in of itself is likely a test. Uh, okay. It will be difficult, whatever they have put before you. But I have no doubt that someone with your strength and ardor can overcome. If you can't, well, then the Frost Maiden will have you. Well, it is still young in the day. It's it is, night. It is night. How can you all tell? There's so much snow. There's never any sun. We know Almost. because we are still strong. Are we not, my clan? Ah, yeah. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> well, you oh, can dude. stay behind. I hit my face when I fell. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of sleepy. Oh, shut up, weak jaw. I finally remember the, the name, by the way, Makingo. Does that name sound familiar to you? Makingo. Hmm. Oh, Growling Bear. Yes, that was him. He was also looking for Oya Minotok. Uh, I will have to report to the clan that he uh, did not succeed in his journey. He went he... up to Calvin's can and uh, did not make it back down. The rest he of the Goliaths. The sky burial. <laughs> sky burial. Rip the pieces. Oh. <laughs> not a mountain. Sky burial. You know, sky burial, when you get ripped apart on a mountain. <laughs> on a mountain, in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> the Goliaths look at each other and their heads kind of hang low. Rowling Bear has fallen. His might was tested. And he failed. He was avenged. He tried as hard as he could. Until he could not try any harder, and that is all that we should strive for. Ah! They, start, oh, they... <laughs> they start shouting, echoing into the mountains. Growling Bear will be remembered! 
His name will echo across these mountains until they find their way back to us. They shout once more, echoing into the frosty mountains. Nephros leans into Vilma. He's like, so you're like not that intense for a Goliath, are you? <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm the chill one. I'm actually gonna take some notes on, on what they're doing so I can convince them of things later. Shout across the mountain so it can echo. That's pretty good. They're gonna cause an avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll close to the wall. Yeah, yeah, we're in a cave. We should be fine. You do see like a, a distant mountain has like a bit of snow fall off of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the power of Goliaths. Wonderful. Know that he was avenged. Oh? It was not Fine. just the mountain that claimed him. No, he went to fight a beast. Beast, you say? You know this? Might be a terrible one. Yes, this is where... It's in the lair of where we... Is where I found him. Oh. Then you slayed the beast yourself. I will have to say that my incredibly powerful commandions were with me, but yes. All right. Do you want to make a deception check? Didn't we kill it? No. No, no you no. You convinced the yetis not to attack you. That's yeah. true. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll lie. Why not? I don't get to do. I don't get to decept a lot. Yeah, this guy. This guy's already agreed to lie to the camp for us about who won the contest. So like, sure. Yeah, I want to be even better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I will attempt to roll a twenty and see right through this bullshit. <laughs> nope. Uh, yeah, I don't think they have plus three to wisdom. I'll checky. No. Well, they have plus two, though, but um, it is not enough. They believe you. They take you at face value. You gave them a run for their money, and they respect you enough to believe that you slayed the Yeti. I'll, uh, I'll do another round of yelling. Uh, <laughs> my can go out across the, the mountains and cause another avalanche somewhere nearby. <laughs> not too nearby, I hope. <laughs> ah, I mean, I'm like, I don't know. I can't, I can't control avalanches, Chris. <laughs> you can start by can not I? screaming in the mountains. <laughs> mountains, go! mountains. <laughs> Great big rock, rock, rock. Mm. <laughs> All right, my hands are cold from that handstand. Let's make a fire. <laughs> you can make fires if you will. We have places to be, challenges to meet. But thank you. It is destiny that you brought news of Mokingo to us. It is destiny still that you almost beat Swift Hauler. <laughs> Remember, this is the time you almost beat. <laughs> we'll do a, a one on one next time. Sure. Wink, wink. Meet me back at Sky Tower Shelter, and we will have our rematch. Must prove myself in front of my kin. And I need, I need, I need my own vengeance. <laughs> sure. And remember, uh, control your yelling. But we are all yelling. <laughs> yes, but. <laughs> but you, but you, you do really you, good yelling. I you, ju you just, you just yelled. Like you just yelled a ton. I look but at my group. It was a good yell, right? It was it's, a good it's yell. It's different when I do it. <laughs> <laughs> he does say that. And, uh, Vilma, I'll have you make a performance check. Oh, okay. This is cool. an intelligence kind of. Uh, uh, not, okay. it, not, not, worse. not, not for the role. I mean, I mean, just. Um, okay. Oh, uh, how do you yell right? Is that what <laughs> what the roles were? His, their yelling, although it was loud and brazen, there was a bit of control beyond it. They were like weirdly harmonizing and falling in and out uh, of each other's like ranges. There was actually almost a language to it. More but like yodels. It's beyond your skill level right now. I think that there might be more to this cultural sort of uh, yelling. 
these these hicks out here with the weird yelling. I gotta learn new yelling, I guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post the Sardaukar chat. I'm gonna chat. do it. I'm gonna do it. Well, we will be off. Now. I'll do a traditional start. Goliath farewell. All right. You turn around and slap those ass cheeks. They do it as well. Ass. Yes, we all mutual ass slappage. Good day to you as well, Vima. <laughs> <laughs> One like deeply like cultural more that that is in their like sacred yelling, and then they just slap their ass cheeks and leave. <laughs> <laughs> good game, good game. A kind people. Interesting people. Uh yeah, Swift Hauler leaves with his band. To brave not just the frozen waste, but the nighttime waste. Oh boy. I'm sure there's a lot of Goliath corpses strewn about these mountains. Ugh. It's an unfortunate thing, but it might be true. All right. A reckless bunch, aren't they? Yeah. Is that going to be sure hard to. Well, you guys can do a long rest, should you so choose. Also, I seem to be echoing out of Chase's mic. Might want to adjust the gate. I lowered it. Okay. Um, all right. So, you guys can complete a long rest. Uh, you are not Finally! perturbed uh, during the rest of the night. Refill the meters. Refill the meters. Remember, only... Well, I guess it only matters to Grundle. He only gets back... Ooh, hit dice. Ah. Uh, I didn't take any damage. Proud of you. All right. Um, and with that, Nephros, you are feeling a sensation. A sensation that you've Known for some time now. Tis the raspberry. I it was a blueberry. Well, you know, it yeah. can be whatever it wants to be. Yeah, at any given... The Lithids don't really know what fruit is, so yeah. they're probably just like cycling through all of them. The pomegranate. Bring the football. The not allied awaits. You bring the crystal. I mean, the banana. <laughs> Emergency protocols running thin. We must, we must get the crystal. Bring it to us, Red One, or you will be punished. Okay. Man, why does Harrison get voice daddy? He's gonna make some deals with some devils there, Venric, and then you'll get voice daddy. Yeah. Also, oh, um, Venric, ah. I do need you, because it's not quite morning yet. I'm actually gonna have you go into the lobbies, oh, the voice chat zone. <laughs> Must be moon time. Go to the lobby. <laughs> go, to, go to the lobby. I'll be right back. Hello. Uh, hello. I'm going to need you to send me some GM rolls okay. because tonight you are going to try to help your companions. How? I'm going to need you to make sleight of hand checks with advantage because they are asleep during How your watch. How do I whisper a roll? Uh, slash GM. Slash GM roll, I think. I see the whisper GM and a whisper. Uh, hmm. If you go to the advanced die roller, there should be a button in the top left that says GM. If you click or toggle that, that should also be able to do it. That is not available for us. Oh, it's not available. Okay. Well, then I will roll for you. What is your sleight of hand check? It is. 
Not good. So minus one. Okay. Well, you have advantage. So I will roll a few times. It's minus one. Am I compelled kleptomaniac? Should, should I pick a different voice so I could sound like a... Uh, oh, I can't remember the name of the elk from Centaur World. Um, ah, okay. Now I'm doing it privately. <laughs> They're probably like, what's going on? You have a lot of companions. Okay. Uh, you have beaten at least each of their passive perceptions, so that is fine. Uh, I will just let you know that you have given each person there a gift tonight in hopes that you will be able to purify them as well. You have slipped Chartalin onto their person. Oh no! Okay, let's go back to the rest of the group. Hello everybody and welcome back. Nothing happened, I'm sure. Nothing happened, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, uh, that's all that we need to do. So uh, morning comes. You guys succeed in your long rest, and you are feeling invigorated. And maybe a bit of a rough night, because, I mean, you're on the mountain. Uh, you know Feels what? like home out here. Yeah, at least we got some sleep in. It's better than nothing. Uh, you try sleeping with a voice in your head. Ah, oh, are you being talked to some more? Uh, yeah, I mean, they rung me up again. So they gotta some, kill you again? Uh, it, was, it was a punishment, but there's some heavy implication going on there. There's so, some about, like, emergency protocols running low, so I think they're getting pretty desperate. So I'm, I'm pretty sure if I deny them, they will actually kill me. Well, I'll have healing ready, just in case I can, you know, keep you at least at the brink of death to some degree. Yeah, well, save that for when we get them face-to-face. -face. Okay. So, so are they there, and they're like calling out to you? Is that what? You're it's. I mean, it seems like it. I imagine if it's a ship, whoever's talking to me, got to be maybe the last survivor of the wreck. But this was buried. The thing you found was buried, right, in a I, mine. May it's possible that the uh, that this fell off the ship and then landed in the mine, and maybe this they've been stranded there for quite a long time. I didn't find it. Uh, wasn't it in a skull? Yeah, it was like carved into a rock or something. It was in the yeah. mines in the main shaft somewhere, It just right? fell mm -hmm. off into a mines and a skull. And... Well, no, it might have fallen off down some hole or some crack that has since gotten covered over and sealed. Mm -hmm. Covered over by a skull, yeah. Yeah. Covered over Probably by normal. a cobalt skull or something. Or, or perhaps, you know, someone had it and uh, it drove them mad and they killed that person right after they shoved it into a wall. I mean... They no, tried to get rid of it. Yeah, they might have tried to get rid of it by shoving it into a wall behind a statue, and then uh, it killed him. I what mean, is... we can speculate endlessly about what happened uh, and why right. it was there. Like, maybe they've actually been here for, like, hundreds of years. Yeah, who knows? But, I mean, all I know is we gotta get rid of them. Well, we gotta get rid of that. Pointing to the, the, the purple stone that's probably inside of, like, Clearly a Clearly they want it for something. Yeah. yeah if they no. can just kill you at will, how are you planning on getting rid of them? I don't know. There's more of them just me, unless all you were planning on abandoning me as soon as I walk over the threshold. No. The sooner we get rid of that deranged, corrupt crystal, the better. That's what I say. Well, yes, but not at the expense of me, you right, Jeeves? Of course not, my tiefling friend. Yes. Life debt. Remember Life that. Debt. <laughs> of course, I would never forget it. Nephros, you are one of my wards. Now, yes, I mean, I figure it's up to us to make sure we get rid of whatever's talking to me through this thing, so I can't possibly ensnare someone else at a future date with this crystal. And or start to actually threaten things, so. Right. Somewhere now, south of here. To, in a, to do that in a way that your head doesn't explode, then we will have to not be noticed and to kill them before they kill you. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. Fine. I'll just take vengeance on my behalf. It'll be a great backstory. Okay. You were so concerned about dying, and now you're just walking to your death. <laughs> well, 
We don't know if it's actually death. Maybe they'll take it and then they'll leave. Yes, maybe this will all work out just fine with the mind-eating creatures. Yes, these things are they can kill him from range <laughs> if it's just a rock. Well, I'm thinking they can kill him from range because they connect to that rock. Which is why I tried taking it away, but that didn't work very well. All of us conspiring around Nephros might get him killed, so let's get to work with our travels. Well, we're moving south. Yeah. Yell, I yell at, like, <laughs> Nephros' crotch. We're moving south, if that makes you happy. We're gonna be there soon. Walks away. Brought snacks. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> ah! oh, he's into the snacks. What? Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, go. Okay. All right. Well. It's, it's just the, the it's just the meme the uh yeah, okay, I'd like um one roasted sirloin and ten thousand brains. Uh two <laughs> roasted sirloins, please. <laughs> yeah. Well, onward to your doom, you know, and we'll try and save you, and worst case scenario, we all live and you're doomed. But we'll try and save you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Best case scenario I get to stab whatever it is through the face. Also true. Right, you guys pack up your gear into your sleds and start making your way uh, as safe as you can down the other side of this large mountain. Everybody on the sled. Whee! Not, not so fast, not down. so fast. Yeah, the sleds are catching up to the dogs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen that cartoon. Uh, all right. As you make your way down south, the... You can follow this river. Uh, yeah. Um, well, I'm actually just moving it to the side because you have arrived at your destination. Um, the oh, air yeah. is growing kind of dark. Purple? The, the sky is like dim around this place in spite of it being morning, technically. Um, so it doesn't help here. that another blizzard is starting to oh, set great. in. Yeah, I mean, it's Icewind Dale, man. So much for asking if we could see anything. All we see is snow. Oh, actually, I'll just, uh... Well, I'll keep it at this, but I'll just say it's snowing. Okay, um... The blizzard starts to rile itself up, uh, but there is just a darkness in the air that seems to Maybe not be coming from the sky. Perhaps it's coming from your own vision. It's just getting kind of fuzzy. Nephros, you can hear the voice just kind of slowly repeating. It's almost a different voice, but like repeating in the back of your head. Nautiloid down. Emergency protocols enabled. Vessel imperiled. Crystal needed. Come at once. And it keeps repeating that just softly in the back of your head. It's getting louder and louder. Until you guys crest the other side of a cliff. And you can see the nautiloid. I want to cast... I'll do Bear's Endurance on Nephros to give him extra HP. Just in case things get dicey. Right, Nephros, you have the endurance of a bear. And seven temporary hit points. And seven temporary hit points. Ooh. Hooray. Hooray. <laughs> now he might be at one after getting a maximum <laughs> D10 rolls. Yeah. Spiciest D10 rolls I've ever seen in my life. As you trudge deeper into this mountain valley, an eerie glow betrays the monstrous outline of something stupendous and ominous at once. It looks like a cephalopod with slimy, ropey tentacles as thick as tree trunks that has tried to, and sort of failed to bury its immense bulk in the snow as if it had decided to do so. Now, do they fly tentacles forward or tentacles back? Well, why don't we take a look? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Nephros, this is. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, dancing I lights. I didn't say it was gonna be pretty. That thing does not belong on this plane. 
What the fuck is that? I don't know, it's Naughty Lloyd. Where's the sale? <laughs> nice. <laughs> it has tentacles, Nephros. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's probably dead, maybe, or asleep. Is this a creature? I've never seen this before. It, it is, right? It's like a I mean, tentacle monster. I start taking notes in my journal. Looks like it was doodle. alive at one point. Wait, is this in in Grundle's book? It is not yeah, in the whole Grundle's book. About it. <laughs> oh, that is not what that is on that page. <laughs> that <laughs> no, is that's something just, that's else's <laughs> tentacles. <laughs> I've seen this before. Oh, Flips through the book. <laughs> um, Venric. Yeah, I don't know what kind of check I'm we just, need for that. I'm writing and just drawing this in my book. Sure. I have. I was just going to mention that you uh, that you bring out your foxfire lights, your little wills of the wisp. Um, you guys can feel almost a, a psychic draining coming on as you near the nautiloid. Grasp at your heads. Your head feels. Uh, you guys suffer from a minus one penalty to Ugh. ability checks, attack rolls. And yeah. saving throws. Yeah, did the barometric pressure just change? Because my head is pounding. I don't feel so good. <sighs> that's a bad idea. That's oh, me vomiting a bit. No, oh, gross. Nothing needs to be destroyed. Yeah. It's like the size of a castle. How are we going to destroy it? I don't know. Does the would the alchemist fire work? Yeah, ne Nephros like pulls out the alchemist fire. He's like, yeah, I mean, I've still got this, and if we can find something inside there to blow up with this, you know what? Here, hold on, everybody, just hold up a sec. Yeah, Grundle, I want you to what? take this, and he hands the alchemist fire to Grundle. Okay. If I if I lose my mind in there. I want you to prioritize blowing up this ship and blowing up that crystal before saving me. I'm going to do my best to hang on, but the most important thing is that we get rid of this so that no one else has to have happen to them what's been happening to me. What's been happening to you? We'll talk about that later, kid. <sighs> He's very responsible. I'm glad you gave it to him. <laughs> it, you know what? I think... I think that's fine. I'll, I'll keep. He's durable enough to be. The I mean, last yeah, I was, th I was thinking he's just going to be the last one alive. Oh, oh. yikes! Well, thanks for N the uh, you're comfort. You're not bringing us all to die with you, are you? I mean, <laughs> hey, that's like a suicide pact or something, is it? I, that's up to you. What do you mean it's up to us? You son of a bitch, Suvi! You I'm hush first. the people nearby. There's something nearby, and before you have time to react, you hear a pair of shrieks coming at you from the sides of this mountainous ravine. <laughs> As two giant worm-like creatures crawl towards you, uh, we're going to start combat immediately. Those without... Those with wisdom perception uh, scores of 11 or higher on the passive are not surprised. I also okay. just realized Ooh. for the longest time that music is not playing for me. I'm never surprised. So we will. I have 12. I have 11. I have 15. Does anybody have 10 or below? I don't know. Check Grundle. Check Grundle. Uh, I don't think he no. does, but... Looks like Jeeves isn't. Um, where is it? Okay, yeah, nobody has less than 11. Uh, you guys are able to get enough of warning to prevent yourselves from being surprised by the carry-on crawlers that have crawled out from the carry-on. Uh, Suvi, it's your turn. Oh god, are those the mind flames? Arrow. Oh, so they have tentacles too, ew. Oh, I don't think so, these things aren't talking to me. I'm gonna shoot the closest one, I guess. Sure. Hmm, not so much. Hmm. Uh, in your surprise, it twists its body completely in over itself, as if it's completely boneless, and your arrow oh. goes wide. Is that boneless? Delicious. The worms. What will we pick our te with, teeth with when we kill these things? <laughs> boneless elephants. Don't let them eat your brains. Alright, uh, they are about... To eat brains? 
I'm gonna maybe like look at them. Assume that you guys were like bundled up, and then I'll assume that they were about this far away. Theater of the mind. Yeah, in theater of the mind world. Anything else, Suvi? After your wide shot. Nah. Uh, yeah, I might move back a little bit in case they explode or something. <laughs> sure. Nephros. Indicate backness. Oh, jeez. Yes? Uh, we pr it's probably not a good idea to retreat into the Nautiloid with these things chasing us, is it? I trust oh. neither of those situations. <laughs> All right, we're fighting then. Uh, Nephros will pull out his short, light crossy bow. Go for a little attacking tech. These are coming from the Nautiloid, or...? No, I think they're coming from around. Around? Maybe they're guards. They certainly don't seem to be speaking, so have at it, Venric. Alright, sorry. Uh, That's fair. I was getting weirded out by the music that was now looping was on itself. at the same time. Yeah, okay, yeah. See, mine says it's playing nothing, but I hear music, so... We have music going, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. A little weird. Yeah, it's just... It's just this goddamn edge. Great UI. Great UI. Alright, Nephros. Uh, that is at minus one because of your effect. Uh, but that still hits. Okay. Your light crossbow sinks into their milky, pus-colored flesh. Ew. Don't... <laughs> they, are they moist too? It I makes a like... squanch as it enters. Oh, the squanch. over here. <laughs> That's our word. Oh no. <laughs> Alrighty, um, I will dive into the snow and cunning action hide. Right. Ah, yes, there we go. Red eight. That is what we want. <laughs> you duck into the snow, but uh, there is not much space to hide. You just kind Ooh, of right into the ice. Yeah, your your butt is sticking out, and you're just kind of like, nope. There's there's not enough snow there to form a bank. Vilma, it's your turn. Also, did okay. the music stop for everybody? Yes, okay. that one is not looping. I was dying down and letting you play the next. Let's try one. Just hope that it doesn't just play double. Okay. Alright, uh, Vilma, what will you do? Um, I will draw a dagger as the spell focus for my ice knife that I'll throw and try to hit. I'll, I'll aim for the one that's closer and has been hit already. Okay. See if we... Oh, I don't think a 10's gonna work. It flings um, and skids off its slime. If I throw it at it, uh, it'll still explode. Does it, would it need a hit? Oh, this is Ice Knife. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. My god, it's still hit doing... Or the... miss the shard, then explodes. Yes. So. Um, yeah, so. If you do, sorry, I rolled again. Hit or uh, miss, then explodes. Yep. It'll explode, so they need to make dexterity save throws regardless. Alrighty. Also, yeah, the music is doubling again. No clue what does that. The Nautiloid. It's the Nautiloid! Alright, All right, it looks like both fails. of them failed. So they take five cold damage. Cold damage. Let's see if that has any special qualities. Nope. No effectual thingy. So they both take the full cold five. Then I will back up. I have to throw it. Fucking, they're so big. Ew. Yeah, they are large creatures, oh, as big as it. two people stapled together from head to ass. Please don't right. say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> One of the crawlers does what it does best and crawls forward. Straight to Jeeves. Yeah, fuck you, Jeeves. Who picked this marching order? I, mean, <laughs> uh, I did at random. All right. Uh, two attacks. One with tentacles and one with bite. Uh, well, it's gonna go for. I 
think Nephros first. Alright, that is not gonna hit. So, uh, it, by the way, it can do this with 10 foot reach, but, uh, it gets closer to try and bite Nephros as well. Alright. Oh. Oh, Nephros is able one. to bat away its tentacles, but not its teeth, as it sinks in for 7 piercing damage. Nasty pincers. Another crawler starts to move around. This one is going to attack Jeeves first with its tentacles. And cruel. Right, that does hit his AC of 14. Jeeves takes four poison. And now needs to make a con save. He's good at those, right? Yeah. I have Can't the constitution master. of a fucking lion! Um, all right, he manages to resist, but there is some sort of numbing agent that he can feel on the tentacles. Uh, uh, there's some shit on their tentacles. Uh, gooey. We noticed. Did you? It didn't bite you. All right, uh, then it bites him for eight piercing damage. I managed to resist its paralysis. The crawler then... Stops its assault on Jeeves. Fenric, it's your turn. I'm gonna run up and I'm gonna try and bonk. Shield was put on before the fight just because we were approaching the Nautiloid. Mm hmm. Hell yeah! Okay, that is gonna hit with your Warhammer in spite of the minus one. Hunt that monster. Right, that is nine bludgeoning. It thwacks against its hide, discoloring it a bit, and then a flash of foxfire emerges from your ore hammer, pummeling it for eight damage. I will stand here. Alright. Uh, you stand tall against, or with your ally nearby. Jeeves is going to make a death save. More than 8 HP before, didn't he? <laughs> well, he also got hit by the tentacles. Mm -hmm. Right. Alright, he has a success. It is Grundle's turn. Don't hurt my friends! Uh, Grundle's gonna run forward. He's probably gonna save his rage. Um, and just use his Great Axe. Cracks him. Attacking recklessly, because why not? Alright, well, 21. That's going to hit for 15 damage. Nice. Yeah, that's a good solid hit. Good chunk. Chops off some of its many tentacles. Ugh. Get them on the ground. It can't hurt us from there. Ugh. Suvi, it's your turn. All right. Uh, I'm going to shoot the one Grundle just reamed. Gadoosh. Another solid hit. Hey. You just skadoosh him? Yeah, skadoosh. Six Got piercing. Swarm damage. Three swarm. The uh, carrion nine. crawler, slowly but surely, is being worn down. Alright, anything else, Suey? Let's move up to Jeeves. Alright. Standing over your fallen comrade, defend him. With your life, Nephros. All right, this one right in front of me that just tried to attack me, is uh, that the one that Ben recalled? Yes. Okay, great. So then I'm going to switch to a short sword. Do some stabbing. That will hit. Stabbing eight. All righty. All right. That is 12 damage. This one is also not looking so good. These things, although tough, thankfully, you outnumber them. Uh, Nephros, anything else? Uh, I'm going to give it a little swipe with the offhand Daggerino. That's going to hit. Alright, no yeah. damage. Seen it. Bonus. One damage. <laughs> Those, are cobalt. <laughs> Those are cobalt numbers. Anything else? The old naked 1d4. Um... 
and then I guess I will just back off a little bit with my fancy footwork, like maybe back around to the other side of Venric. Okay. Give it a little razzle-dazzle. Yeah, we'll do a little tag team. Now uh, you fight him. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay. I stood next to you the so small I could man is a defend shield. you. There's room behind that shield for the two of us. <laughs> a sniveling coward, as always. <laughs> Vilma, it is your turn. I'll go in... And I think I'll, like, position myself over actually, Jeeves. Actually, hold on. Can I can I retcon my movement? Because I thought of something better. Sure. Sure. I'm actually just going to move around to the other side of it, so that me and Vendrick are flanking it. Okay. Good for me, too. Oh, uh, I'll move you then, as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to position myself over Jeeves, if that's possible. Yeah. In a defensive kind of position. It's like, don't eat this old man, please. <laughs> I don't need to see that. Um, I'll get my second dagger out. Uh, and I'll take my first swipe at the carrion qua- crawler that I'm flanking with Nephros. Carrion koala. Carrion <laughs> koala. Well, let's see if you can get some damage with your dagger. Oh, I guess no. not. That is not a hit. You start to uh, feel a bit of a psychic strain as ow. the crawler starts to overtake you, and you kind of back away with your dagger a bit. Is there anything else you wanted to do? Second dagger. All right. You go in with the offhand attack, <sighs> stealing yourself and finally finding purchase in its supple, pus-colored flesh. Uh, no, those are all bad words. Uh, I will defensive flourish on top of that, so it'll be an extra d6, and then I'll add that to my AC. Okay. What's the damage? Three. Plus That's... five to eight. And then I have uh, a 21 AC right now. All right. With your flourish, your daggers are now a whirlwind of force around you. And with that, it's their turn to strike. Um, they are going to... Yikes. Hmm. You know, hmm? I think that they might you know. just back off. This guy's going to disengage. Real smart caterpillars. Oh, someone's being very loud outside. Honk honk. I'm um, to stop. Yeah, sorry, that's me. Okay. <laughs> so they're going to go about 20 feet this way. Um, well, you know, make it 30 feet. Uh, and they start going towards the cliff face. Looks like they're going to try and climb away. And this guy is going to... Let's... Let's attack at Vilma. Try and do something. But with your flurry in place, you're able to defend deftly against its tentacles reaches in for a bite instead. Um, Come on, no! <laughs> All right. That was a really good attack, too. Yeah, it was. It that was, was max right damage. Um, it doesn't paralyze. Yeah, it isn't the paralyzing one. That's the tentacles. Great. Oh, awesome. That's really cool. <laughs> you batter away its tentacles, but its teeth chomp down on your forearm, letting loose a little blood before it cringes away. Um, it ends its turn. Fendrick, it is your turn. One is going away, one is staying. Uh, hmm. Shit, I don't know if we can actually understand. Oh, it's within 30 feet, I can just run. That's fair. Baby, ow, 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 ow. Yeah, I'm just gonna run up to it. I'm gonna try and whack it. All right. 
You run up to the carrion crawler with your warhammer aloft, but something in your mind breaks across it, uh, and it causes you to stumble a bit. You stop just short of the carrion crawler, unable to swing. Uh, uh, do I notice this, that I can't physically move and try to hit it? It, it felt like a minus one just... to your attack, yes. It was a momentary okay. lapse, yes. <laughs> ah, didn't know if it was like, oh, hey, uh, weird brain things now going into everybody. Get in my spaceship. No, just okay. that. Well, that's my turn. All right. <laughs> Jeeves. It's about time somebody asked me. I'm going to make a death save. <laughs> wow, that rolled very close to a one on my screen. Um, but that is another success for Jeeves. Grundle. Well, I'll do what I do best. Use my okay axe. Uh, my great axe. Oh, it's okay. just okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> He's gonna, like, run around it. Uh the south end that doesn't exist. Here, how about I... There we go. Now he runs around it. Um, and at least flank it for Suvi and try and cut off its escape. You're staying here to die, monster! Yeah, good I could, job, Grundle. I could kill this, it's not a human, right? He looks at Venric. Yeah, yeah, hit it! Okay, cool. Suvi, it's your turn. No, yeah, I'm just gonna run up and chop it with my hand axe. The choppies? Go on the other hand, so I just have to one hand it. Yay! Uh. Giving him the choppies? 21. Give, give right, him, you good. give him a choppy. That hits. That's why I add the spice to it. It's a one. <laughs> uh, Look at that. A How bit about of that? cinnamon six. spice for the six spice damage. Is salt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. You add damage. some spice, and the worm is not pleased. Uh, the shy elude is going to shy away from you a little bit uh, him, quick. and recoil. Anything else, Suvi? Now we good, fam. I'm good over here. Nephros. One of them's escaping and another one is cringing, looking like it might flee soon. Or just I most, explode. I am most no, definitely cringe. not good here. I'm going to chase after the one that I saw Venner chase after. Oh, killy do killy. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you get up. My feet are too tired. Oh. Nephros. Yeah, I'm not gonna get them. yeah, you feel a bit of a cringe as well. You guys all have this kind of cringe psychic disease. Um, it's like someone yeah. streaming memes into our brains. I'm posting, <laughs> no! I'm posting cringe. Oh no. This is not allowed. It's cringe. Is uh, this uh, Morbid I'm still, posting, I'm still posting cringe. Oh my goodness. Yeah, both of those cringe away from the crawler. Vilma. Looks like these crawlers lasted another round somehow. Yeah, well, I'm... You know, when I get bit, I bite back. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna dagger dagger for my things. I'm not an unarmed bite attack. I'm the one that bites. Not, not like that. A natural one, Chris. What do you think about that one? Definitely How not like that. that. <laughs> Let me show you my next trick. Ow, 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 consecutive it. one. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you go to do a flourish and you like cut your fingernail a bit and like, oh, darn it. And then... Yeah, um, that's what I'm concerned about. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a minor inconvenience, but uh, it does distract you enough. But Whittling. thankfully, your second attack whirls around into its backside uh, for five piercing damage. Anything added to that? I don't know what else you have, but I think that was a bonus Great, action. Butthole. I could do another flourish. But... Oh, right, because you can just uh, do that without any action, right? But I won't. Part of the attack. Yeah, that's what I mean. Part of the ship, part of the attack. <laughs> right. Um, the carrion crawler is very weak. This carrion crawler is... Wormy. Jeez. Might just get attacked if it just crawls away. It's gonna first tentacle attack Nephros. A little road snack. Oh, that hits Nephros. I'm gonna need you to make a con save, Nephros, with minus one, and take three poison. 
Oh, golly. Here comes the fun. Hey. Well, with the minus one, that just barely makes it. Mm -hmm. You manage to resist the paralysis, but you can feel your body tense up and your mind starts to feel a little hopeless. But you steal yourself and are able to regain your composure. You only take the minor three damage as the crawler then gives up and starts crawling up what is a mountain, uh, mountainside right where you guys are. Um, but it does provoke attacks from both of you. Get it, Benrick. Oh! oh. Mm. That's a hit. Low roll. I have a question. Are you smiting? 1-800, are you smiting? And I will smite for good measure. Are you sure? You don't have to. I do. do. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, anyway, I started I smiting. For a total of 20 damage, you slam into the carrion crawler, and uh, as it's spinning away, you whack its head and its head slams into a rock in a burst of foxfire and purple goo on the inside. Ooh, it's a nice contrasting color. Uh, and <laughs> that splat on the wall over there. But it perishes. And its body starts to vibrate. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it dies. <laughs> 500 no! more pop out of it. <laughs> Babies! Gross mother! <laughs> All right. Uh, the next carrion crawler. Well, it, of course it does. That wasn't your turn. This carrion crawler is really not looking good. It is going to disengage. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> it, oh, whooped. Yeah, he just tries to escape, uh, but he doesn't get too far. He starts climbing up the wall as well, but he's only about five feet up. So he's off the ground, but... Not unreachable. Benric, it's your turn. I say unreachable, but I mean unreachable <laughs> for those who, of us who are gnomish. I can't trip. <laughs> Throw it. Uh, uh, like, can't trip. I mean, can I run up to it and still bonk it? Uh, no, you cannot reach it in melee. Can I chuck my hammer at it? You certainly could. That's a improvised weapon attack. You would not have your proficiency, but you'd still have your strength. No cavalies? No, I'm up and keep... So it'd be plus two? Yeah, plus two. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Why don't you hit it with you got the the loose. It's a nice hammer. Yeah. I can go get it. All right, you toss your hammer up towards the carry-on crawler and go for damage. So what would this be for an improvised weapon? Uh, so this is a two-handed warhammer. I'll say that it's uh, the lower end of the versatile. So what's that, a D6? One D8? Oh, lower or... end? Yeah, one D6. Okay. Plus and strength it's... or no? Yep, still plus strength. Okay, you still deal five damage to the creature, um, and with a second hammer swing, you fell two worms on one stone, and it falls to the ground in a pile of mush. Yeah. I go retrieve my hammer. Okay, you retrieve your hammer. Well, that was productive. Yeah, Master Slayer. Hey, guess who's bleeding out over here, by the way? What, you can't heal him? I could. <laughs> it's, I'm going to over <laughs> looks down beneath feet. Can't you heal him? I could. He's fine. Come on. <laughs> Get three deaths oh. left. Lay on hands for eight. Oh, goodness. Thank you, Master Venric. You've oh. saved my life on so many occasions. Mm -hmm. I'm just glaring at Vilma this entire time. I don't need his deaths. Your kindness knows no bounds, Vilma. I'm gonna heal myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think it actually has a very distinct well, bound. <laughs> yeah, its bound does not reach beyond these, and then does a flex. Distinctly measurable bound. <laughs> Man. 
hand, my sleeves are turning to rags with all these monsters biting me. She... Jeeves, she didn't heal you, she could have, so you probably shouldn't owe her anything. <laughs> Did you tattle on me to Jeeves? Yeah. He's okay. been doting on you this entire time. He, okay. Oh no, we all have headaches. Let's move on. Yes. Whatever. <laughs> Let's not try to worry ourselves any further with this nonsense. Let's just try to get Nephros aided. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Vanrick, why don't you focus? Instead you should go first, Vilma. Ladies no. first. No, this is Nephros' quest. <laughs> Nephros, why don't you go first? So what are you guys doing? Well, I suggest we right, sneak. I think, yeah, I think we're, worms. Yeah, I think we should try and be a little bit stealthy and find our way into here. All right. Uh, how are you guys approaching? As in, Hopefully. where do you want to approach, and to where, and from? Like, okay, yeah, that's good. Draw a path. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, that look. So I refresh the page. Hopefully it'll does just it play one sound. It has a railing. What it does. Hell? So uh, as you work your way over there, walking along the tentacles, the tentacles seem inert, but you can feel a low warmth coming from within them. It's warm. Oh, God. Chris, it has. Paint this? Shh, be quiet. No, no. Okay. No, this is from the book. I painted over it <laughs> to erase the two carrion craw crawlers in the foreground. That's fair. <laughs> oh yeah, is that with this and this one? Yeah, I kept the weird little hairs. Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> it's uh, grass. <laughs> <laughs> I think grass master. Um, <laughs> the the tentacles have. A, a moisture that is frosted over, but despite that, you can feel the heat and a heartbeat, perhaps, pulsing from within. Nephros, this is bad news. This is bad news, bears. Shh, be quiet and don't think loud thoughts. Oh, God, wow. What? <laughs> well, to stop thinking. How does do? How do you think aloud? Thought smooth, smooth brain. Only smooth brain. I think everything aloud. I'm just going to think only in Yeti in my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the chances that they know common is high, but not Yeti. <laughs> Ooga chaka. You make your way up the slippery tentacle. Should make stealth or something. Uh, yeah, I mean. There doesn't seem to be anyone as far as, like, guards posted about. Um, you don't see anyone anyway. So I'll just have you make a acrobatics check to safely ascend the living, frozen-over tentacles. Get that minus one. Minus one. Ten. DC nine. <laughs> we can only hope. I suppose I should roll for Grundlin. And Jeevesy Poo. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Acrobat. Oh, shiny. Clang, 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 clang. Acrobat. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's moving. Oh god. Suvi and Grundle are able to ascend it pretty easily. Nephros uh, kind of gets caught on one of them behind Vilma, both kind of cringing at the. Uh, the grossness of this, and Vendrick and Jeeves are trying to it. help each other up onto the, the lower end of the tentacle. Um, you guys take some time uh, getting up to this deck, as it were. Um, How high up is it? Uh, I might have an answer to that. Let me see. Okay, I do not have an answer to that, but I will say that it is about, oh, 30 feet up. Yeah, it's a pretty big nautiloid, I think. Um, <laughs> well, I measured it. It's 15 <laughs> <Perfect>. feet. <laughs> uh, okay, well, 
I'm gonna say that uh, Venric, Jeeves, and Nephros Vilma make dexterity saving throws to avoid minor damage. Please stop beating me up wildly. A minor 1d10. <laughs> <laughs> Featherfall, Oof. no. <laughs> Featherfall! Uh, don't hurt my focus climb and ropes would have been easier. Okay. Um, we should have used... We have ropes. <laughs> we should have used ropes. Nephros avoids damage, uh, but the rest of you guys take three damage. We. You take three cringe damage from feeling the oh. slightly warm, sticky tentacles. He accidentally sniffed it. No! I I'll sniffed maintain it. concentration. <laughs> Alright. Oh. You guys make it to the first dock. Doesn't look Wee. like there's anybody around. There's an overhang with stalactites looming over you guys and what looks like another deck with a uh, a similar like guardrail around it high above. Another 30 feet up, but there's not really much way to climb up there. Not safely. Not easily. Ahead of you that. is a massive purple sphincter puckered against the wall. Oh, God. <laughs> Found the butthole. <laughs> this thing fell from the sky? And yeah. crashed? Yeah, they have buttholes in the sky. Buttholes in the sky. Things will be more and more like a living creature the longer we travel towards it. Things don't usually survive falling out of the sky. Just saying. Does it actually look damaged or is it just kind of frozen? It looks like it's on its side. Um, the entire deck is like canted to the starboard side. Um, like to its right. Or I guess your left facing the, uh, the sphincter door. Mm. Also, I will take you to the battle map because there's another noticeable feature here. Okay, there's also a ballista on the deck. Okay, a, now I'm even more confused. A straight up ballista. Ah, yes, an organically grown rope ballista. Uh, it has a butthole the and a ballista. Farms. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Ah, buttholes and ballistas. Mm, the, my new favorite band. The ballista I mean, does look like it's made out of unusual materials, but it doesn't look as biological as the rest of this device. Um, it is biologically kind of like uh, knit into the ground, uh, if it can be called the ground, as you tamp on the soft but cartilaginous uh, floor. It is also ribbed. For your displeasure. Oh, that's it's definitely accomplishing that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't. Can Here we are. Turn it around and fire it into its own butthole. <laughs> just that. Can we turn it around all the way? Sure, you can try. Well, nobody else is accosting us. We got time. Quick, I wanna, edit the I wanna... image. I want to aim the ballista at the butthole. <laughs> All right. Should we? Oh, hold on, hold on. Before you fire it, I won't do we fire wanna, it. Just do we want to? Do we want to try and like open up the butthole and then fire it in? Or, yeah. Because exactly. that would sacrifice the entire element of surprise. Exactly. Well, why don't we have it aimed in, in case something jumps out? You know, have it ready. All right, sure. But then as soon as we open the door and nothing pops out, you need to leave the ballista and come along. I'm just gonna fire willy-nilly. Why do you all think I'm a loose cannon? We wait until we get attacked every time. We're fine. I'll hold. Uh, I'll hold. Yeah, you, you want to go after hind toes, you know. So. Yeah, because he's trying to kill us. Try to. Uh, multiple times. <laughs> all right, listen, we are not going to hash this out here. Yeah, no. We're going to die here. That's right. Let's turn this ballista around. Let's mm. pay attention and yep. keep our wits about us. Vilma, you have successfully turned the ballista um, around. It is now facing the sphincter, although it has not been fired. It is loaded with what appears to be a big, fat bolt. 
All right, um, I'm gonna go touch the butthole, I guess. Touch the butt. I'm gonna go next to you, just in case uh, you need some extra support. Yeah, Leave let's the sides of the butthole. Leave yeah, the yeah. center of the butthole open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll flank on the sides of it. All right, I'll get on the other side over here. And I'm gonna reach out a hand and sort of hover it in front of it and see if anything happens and slowly reach it in to like touch it until something happens. You Gotta touch it. the butthole. Little rim job there. Make a sleight of hand check. <laughs> mm. Notice it quiver at your touch a little bit. You kind of tickle the rim of the, the sphincter. <laughs> And the worst. it shudders, and momentarily, it opens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, I know what I'm all, doing. Good, we all, <laughs> we all had the right idea. Yeah. All right. It splorches. Open, and inside, you can see a chamber filled with boxes. Attached to the walls of this chamber are three sets of chains and manacles designed to hold large creatures. A staircase rises to the next deck amid crates, barrels, and broken bits of equipment. Moving among the detritus are four creatures. Three of them are small, repulsive purple things that float above the ground and pull themselves across the floor using oversized face tentacles, like a draping, drooping mustache made out of flesh. The fourth nope, is like a that. lumbering monstrosity made of stitched together parts made from goblins, dwarves, and what appears to be a reindeer that is lurching out of its shoulder. The creatures are kind of just floating around this amalgam of flesh, and you can hear distant thoughts coming from them. They say, Come get me. Come get me. Soon. Haha. <laughs> Funny. It chase. The light. What noise? They turn towards you. Do you take any action? I can shoot these things, right? I was, do, do you see? Do you have? Can you shoot the the giant thing? I guess because that's the easiest target. Well, the problem I is, guess... uh, and I suppose I should do this with dynamic lighting. Let me draw. It's awfully the, dark in there. The stairs are there. Um, get a better line, and there are crates like here. Okay. Although you can see over the crates, uh, it is very much like three-fourths cover. Hmm. Are there other bolts that I can see around? I imagine not, since it crash-landed. You don't see any nearby. Uh, uh, I'm... We might need to draw them out. I, I was just about to say, I'm gonna... This is, this is a quick reaction from Nephros. I'm gonna... Um, slip my signet ring off of my finger and toss it into, toss it through the sphincter into the hole beyond. All right, you toss your ring into the sphincter. It tinkles on the other side. Ding, ding, ding. Make a deception check. And I'll say this is dex based. Deception. Which should be pretty good for you still. Right, yeah, with a plus seven, still pretty low, uh, but yeah, well, it's me. <laughs> eh, it's Nephros. Uh, the ring tinkles across the floor, and you see some of these strange, squid-faced, tiny creatures start moving towards it. What noise? Small noise. Sphincter. And table. <laughs> <laughs> and they start Apple? moving towards it. <laughs> uh, the sphincter closes. Oh. 
Uh, Nevers is gonna look towards Vilma and then go to op- and like nod to her and then go to open it again. I guess. Yeah, we'll just give it a second and then see what drew it like a surprise on them. I guess. Right. Um, so the weapons ready. Okay. Uh, so use sleight of hand the door, quote unquote. Yep, I attempt to sleight of hand the door. It quivers, and it takes a bit longer than you would have hoped. Um, The squid creatures have kind of converged, and the golem as well seems to be moving around the side. Um, Now the sphincter opens, and there is at least one squidling in view floating slightly above the ground. It is surprised to see people on the other side. Fire! I'm, I'm not shooting at the small one. I'm shooting at the big one. Oh, all right. It has yeah. cover still. Exactly. So I'm just kind of aiming at him. OK, so you're I'm holding like, still? I'm, I'm holding. I'm not shooting. I, I'm not going to shoot our one bolt at this if there's an even larger target. All right, well, uh, Nephros is going to shout through the door at, I think I can see this one right here. Uh Uh-huh. He's going to shout through the door. Come and get your snacks, you little overgrown octopus. Brains? Brains? Crossbow. Danger. Warn others. Uh, okay, you vicious mockery. Which one? Can you ping? Uh, Zglard. Z- you you viciously mock Zglard. Um, <laughs> oh, the sneak attack is yeah, it's gonna happen. Pointless. Sneak a psychic. It it does scare me every time that shows up. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Never done better than one. On You've one. always rolled one, also. On the yeah. D4. It it's complete- very wise. It completely ignores your uh goading, and it simply goes up to the sphincter and tickles it and it closes. <laughs> Alright, Nevers is gonna turn to Suvi and Vilma. Well no one else was doing anything now they know we're here. We have to go in. No I don't think they know we're here. They don't seem to be responding to the, like why would they just come out and attack us if they knew we were here? I just yelled at one of them and then it closed the door. <laughs> why not just attack us? Because it went to warn whoever else is going to come and kill us. Maybe these are just servants. You didn't just hear it say, must warn others? To be fair, none of you guys heard that. It was oh, in okay. Sorry. Uh, we didn't hear that, Nefros. I thought no, you were broadcasting that No, 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 no please, all please, please let me elaborate. You didn't hear yes. it audibly. It was all telepathic. Okay. Yeah, okay, so that's, yeah, so, I, I mean, I don't know the difference between hearing something telepathically or otherwise, so I'm saying you all heard him just say that. Yeah, it's fine. Then get the door open so we can go charge in. Just seems weird well, that it didn't come out and attack us. The door seems puckered extra tight. It seems like it's going to need a lot of teasing to get anything through that door. I Take whack it. it with the hammer. Butthole whisperer, <laughs> Venric, here to batter his way in. Venric pounds the asshole. Roll for damage. Okay. (laughs) The door opens forcibly. Honey, I'm home! Uh Uh, You look onto the other side, and it looks like one has gone up the stairs, and others have taken refuge behind some of the crates. The golem is kind of like looking for the others um, but it turns as Venric blasts open the door uh, it does seem to be in the line of Vilma's fire but Venric is in the way Venric get out the way I'm very short, short. duck oh. lay down <laughs> and I'll, I'll fire like as soon as he's out of the way I, yeah and I will duck as quickly as I can Okay, in that case, I'm going to have us roll for initiative so that we can... Sorry, uh, it justified you. So that we can figure out exactly what goes on. Okay, Uh, nobody is surprised. 
looks like the flesh golem does get to act first before Benric anyway. Um, it's also 10, so I think we might need to hold on to this until next time. I, I'm going basically last, too. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> I'll put a little target on Vilma to denote that you have your action readied, um, yes. but it's also on you to help me remember that. <laughs> gotcha. All right. So, uh, thank you everyone that came out to watch with these uh, technical issues besides. Um, if you want to watch more of this stream, we are on every Wednesday from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, and you can watch our sister stream, the Dork Vision stream, on Sundays from 9 p.m. to midnight, again, Eastern Time. I have books on DriveThruRPG and the DMs Guild, and you can support me another way on Patreon slash NobleCrumpet with that out of the way. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And remember, no matter what kind of fruit it is, bring it back or you're going to be sorry. Yes. Jumped up my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a pineapple. Hammer the butthole, Venric. Hammer the butthole. <laughs> We're just being lured into some Illithid's weird sex dungeon. Oh, Man. no. Yeah, oh, not mine. The Illithid sex dungeon. <laughs> About the invite to the orgy. Chris, dare you enter the forest of tentacles and buttholes? Please like, stop dragging us through your fetishes. Like, it's, it's getting there. It's honestly getting oh, there. Good night, everyone. Bye. <laughs>